we held we it's held it good. down. You know, we got to hold each other down when, yeah. when someone's under the weather. I, I had my turn, so uh, <laughs> being under the weather and not doing the show, and that's how it goes. We're team. Right on. Yeah. So what? Yes. So right now we're gonna go to our artist that we just interviewed, D Nick and the Miss the Microphone Misfits. Special performance once again. This yes. is the first, and we are very proud to bring them here. Yes, and please comment on the YouTube live stream. If you like what you hear, show your love with comment. Boom, bam. We ready with you guys? Got the flag ready. He's doing call out the band tonight. <laughs> you guys he are tuned in to right. E Event Social here on Q4 Radio. This is the live show. You can catch us every Wednesday, 8 p.m. to 9 to 11 p.m. I'm sorry, and um, we'll see you guys Wednesday. Let's go. Let's do it. Microphone, Mitch Pitch. Check, check, check. Check, check, check. check. I'm flow spitting and misfitting. And let's go. 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 Let's go.
from the touch of pain. I was trying to run the mic and he gave him a chicken beat. As he was ditching, I was in a bad position. Thinking real, 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 real hard on the decision. Hey, do I turn around and run away? Or B, do I grab a cake to save the day? Or C, do I get a phone and call a cop? I just did D, told him man to stop. I got pissed on me, a home wreck, a low brown. I might take it to a dog, I'm no bad. He said, F you on the horse, you rolled it on. F you two of your woman, I bust dinner on. Man, at least you the fool got spit on. Don't wanna know what so fast you get shit on. Now at this point, he's mad as Mac and beast. He told the government, so I turned around the food. Yeah. 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 This is some BS. BS! Once again! Man, this is some BS! Once again! They're pissing me off! Once again! And stressing me out! Once again! Man, this is some BS! Once again! This is some BS. Once again. Can't believe this had to happen to me. Once again. Man, this is some BS. Man, this is some BS. Uh, uh, Second album. Uh, 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 Freedom from disease and abnormality. Cause you don't want to have this stuff affect your reality. Come on. The Healthy Eating Anthem of Chicago 2010. We dropped this. Directed by my soul collector, now L. Check this out. I was chilling with my brother, super in life. We were shooting the breeze, getting our mind right, laughing, talking politics, current events, bugging out about a lot of things that don't make sense. This super all of a sudden got this herb from his tummy. He looked up and said, Oh, D, okay, that hurt. Put yourself in the kitchen, there was food in the cabinet. He opened up the cabinet and said, I ain't having it. There ain't nothing in here except a junk food. If I eat this, it'll put me in a junk food. No disrespect, D, don't mean to be rude, but lay chips, that's just the wrong, man. I had no idea you were eating like like this. Why would you ever put that on your grocery list? Just so cold food ain't meant for a human. If I eat this, my body's gonna be moving. Come on, super, don't you think you jump in the gun? I just eat this when I'm sitting back and having some fun. I don't really need to eat nothing organically grown unless you want to make your body can't permanent home. Oh. Eating healthy is the first step in disease prevention. Also cut down on hypertension. A few more things I'd like to mention. If you sit back and pay attention, you want freedom from disease and abnormality. You don't want Uh, so uh, 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 uh
the prime moves of finesse The DJ, keep it moving for y'all while you're staring at your dog. Take graffiti on the wall. So it's on the summer leaves, let it fall, grind hype. Pull the we got for y'all. No bite, yo. I want to take the time out to thank my brother and my partner. Give it up, give it up, give it up. Give it up, give it up. Can we get a shot of Mel L right there? Yeah, yeah. Soul select on the soul controller. Always the, the highest one in the room, naturally or unnaturally. Y'all give it up for the symbol of elevation, the ray of light, y'all. Big up my partner, the ray of light. That's right. Yeah. DJ Mar, Jet 9, T Proper. I am D Nick, the microphone missing. Y'all give it up one time for the T Proper. Microphone is just social. Yes. All right, I got you. <laughs> One time. This is FB be making me do stuff. <laughs> <laughs> You're not alone, brother. You're not alone. Yeah. Hip hop made us one. Wow. We'll be one in the future. This is some different type of lyricism that you're not used to. Our culture is beautiful, like land in Fallujah. I know we got demons, but I'm here to rebuke the rappers who promote a messed up mentality. Half the time, it's not even the piece of their reality. It's like they care nothing for the fruits of their actions. Money that they make won't give them satisfaction. They clowns need floppy shoes and red noses. Cupcake MCs can't even work for hostess. They have some potential, but so they lack focus. Why are we blowing up the spot with C4 explosives? And for those who challenge us, we can have a standoff. This is our style, so please keep your hands up. Came for kicking, but now I must cease. So John bless. Assalamu alaikum and peace. <laughs> Hey, yo, man, I love you, Catch, man. Beautiful, beautiful but, but, sad. Y'all don't know, I don't know, Speaking in Existence is kind of like a song we put on the air, because sometimes we get, like, some topics that we're talking about that's kind of, like, really, it's mind-blowing, it's kind of yeah. impress us, so we might go into a series of songs where we kind of need to just bring the spirit it's back up. It's in our top three. That is, uh, yeah. 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 It's our top three, yeah. chart. Yeah. With the Prepare dark. to get a stellar award for that. Yes. Uh, uh, if, if Kanye can bring Jesus into the clubs, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, brother? You can have the people speaking in existence. Yeah. Yeah. Much success to y'all. Peace and blessings. Thank you so much, guys. Y'all check these brothers out. Please check these brothers out. So, yeah, we're back at the show. <laughs> so we're back in the show, y'all. So yeah, we're going to have more artists coming through because this is like the live version. So we've talked to some dope artists like Alex Brittany, Wonderful. Um, DJ Miss Nikki, the Divine One. Nikki, the Divine. Who else? We've Mouthpiece. We have Shanera Mouthpiece. My Sanders. goodness. We have, and we have more uh, to come. We have Old, day, hey, old Days. Old Days. We have Old Days yeah. here. Yeah. More Watch, more Watch and City. More, and more and more of Watch City. More yes. and more. Jose with the uh, dating questions. Who he did. That was last week. My man Jose definitely uh, okay. spit some knowledge at us okay. last week. That was okay. Uh, what happened? <laughs> don't worry about that. Hey, don't, 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 pay don't pay attention to the mishaps. <laughs> so we are uh, pretty much, yeah. Pay no attention to the man behind the mirror. Yeah, we yeah. got more to come. As a matter of fact, um, uh, this Wednesday coming up, um, we have Indy Titan, Titan. Thank you. Uh, a vocalist yeah. um, via Chicago, Atlanta. Um, her husband is Legendary Titan, and he does a lot of good uh, independent movies. Dealing with black love, you know. So, Jose, you got to check that out. Yeah, you know, check out yeah. Legendary uh, uh, Titan. He's down in Atlanta right now, but Follow. we're going to tap into them next week. Following that, we have uh, Sam I Am. Yes. Oh, my God. A great freestyle. Coming, coming up. Off the head. Yeah, so we yeah, yeah, yeah. Sam I Am. Uh, Working on some more things. Winner of Rhyme Spitters 3, uh, yeah. MTV Beat Battle, uh, 106 yes. Park. 106 Park. Yeah, the man is here. Chicago's got some, some off the head cats. Right, right, right. Dirty Juice Freestyle. Let's I mean, go. Yes, yes, yes. Man. So that will be the second week of November. We'll have Sam I Am. And pending, we have Jura Shahid and a young, dope female vocalist. Her name is Angel Anise. She's very hot. She plays the piano and she sings. So hopefully we'll have them sitting with us 
on the radio show every Wednesday, 8 p.m. to 11 p.m. Y'all got to check us out every Wednesday and call in. Please Q4. call. Q4, yes. He even social. So, any topics, anything happening? What's going on, VVAX? Vax, we haven't had a list in a while. You got a list? I always got a list. I know you got a list. I know you got a list, son. Let's do a list. Son. Yo, first, can we talk about well, Halloween? Did y'all guys? Yeah. yeah. Oh, Halloween. Lord. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was out. You know, with Halloween, I got enough candy to start a store. Why are you bringing some candy, man? <laughs> you should have said something. I got I you guess tomorrow. I should. Yeah, I more. I, I DJ'd a party out in uh in Elgin with more. Yeah. And Watch City, great party. If y'all get a chance to go out there, and check out more. He's doing yes. stuff every I'm, week. I'm actually waiting party. for an invite for that yeah. speech to come out there. I've been waiting. <laughs> yeah, for it was. A, minute, it was. So. It turned out to be dope, right? <laughs> you know, it was. It was a good time. But uh, I guess the biggest topic for Halloween was uh, and don't get uncomfortable more. Uh oh. <laughs> but uh -oh. there was like there was like just a number of, of Caucasians that kind of. Dressed up, yeah, he said, and, right. I like Caucasian, and they, and they dressed up, and you know, in costumes, trying to depict African Americans. However, some of them took that extra step and kind of colored their face dark. Interesting. Which blackface? Yeah, blackface, basically. Okay. Which you know, I I get what they're trying to do, and I don't think, or well, I hope that some people aren't as uh as ignorant about it. I just think that they did it. They weren't thinking. And it's just kind of like, oh man, you know, I wasn't thinking about it when it happened, and I, I'm I'm not sure if they understand the sting that it brings when they mm -hmm. when they do that, mm -hmm. because you know a lot of that went down back in the day, and there was you know with Al Jolson doing the mammy thing, and yeah, yeah, the minstrel, yeah, the right. minstrel show thing, yeah, yeah right. same as the Annie, right? Yeah, yeah so that's, it's, it's, that's like Andy. walking at an NAACP meeting and hollering out the N word, <laughs> yeah, was, and you're not black. So yeah, and I mean, it seemed to happen a lot that. too. I mean, they had like a, I guess they had a disco Africa Halloween party, and it what? featured, yeah, people in like blackface. And I, and when I say blackface, I don't mean brown. I mean like uh, black, like this Arizona. What was that? Um, I'm not sure if it was in Arizona. Oh and I mean, like some of these pictures are just disturbing. And I, the most disturbing one I've seen, and I don't oh know the lady's name, but or the the people's name, but one of them was dressed as a. Uh, it's Trayvon Martin. Oh, and ouch. And like too soon. Blood on his footy. Too yeah, it was. Not even too soon. It's too not never. at all. Too Don't do yeah, that. Never. Like, so, what? Yeah, it, it wasn't a good thing, but, you know, I, I, it just kinda, <laughs> yeah, it, he's laughing at me. He kind of just kind of bugged me out. But, you know, that that that's the topic today. With So, I hope I didn't really freak anybody out. It went from, wait a minute. <laughs> But this hey, is what this uh, is what we talk about every week, yeah, though. Yeah, so might need y'all to come up and be speaking in this. Do you, do you yeah. want to come up and say something? Yeah, I mean, we may be. Some of these things we do have to talk about, you know. So. And you guys yeah. definitely uh come hit the mic if possible. Yeah, if you want to get another mic, mic. so you guys can comment on this. Join the conversation. It'll be like you're on the phone, but you're like right here, not yeah. on the phone, but right here. Yeah. So I mean, um, the the Dancing with the Stars uh, girl. What's her name? The young lady? I know, the girl from Glee. Uh, no, no, she's not from Glee. She's the Dancing with the Stars. She's an actual celebrity uh, coach. She dances. Oh, she's an actual dancer. I forget, but her brother is on, and they're the brother and sister duo. I forgot oh, their name. You Julianne Huck. Julianne. Yeah, I am. What's the names again? Uh, but yeah, we need you for that. The uh, the black is the new orange from that Netflix movie. I don't I know if you guys have seen it. That. Yeah. You gotta see that. That's the one. Yeah, great show. There's an inmate on there. Her name is um her name was um Crazy Eyes, I think. Yeah, Crazy Eyes was. And the that's who. And that's who she, she up went as. as. And if you watch the watch movie, the you know she is just straight like African, not wow. you know straight it was, sister. It was pretty bugged out. You I know, and like, she wow. was in love with the main character, and she just didn't take the hint. But she thought it was cool to come in an orange suit, and you know. Right. I mean, had she just walked, had the orange suit, did a hair up, why not be like the, the in, I would be like crazy but eyes. Bex, but why not pick the lead character? Maybe she like. I mean, Crazy Eyes is a very interesting character on the show. But I think a Halloween. Yeah. I don't think about trying to depict somebody's culture and like, oh, let me change my skin yeah, and no, look like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wouldn't do that. <laughs> well, I mean, see, Halloween costume. I'm not trying to justify it or, or give anybody an excuse, but people try to pick outrageous, controversial things when they're going for Halloween they costumes. They so do. I'm not definitely not approving. Of that. I don't think everybody does. No, 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 I'm not saying everybody. everybody. I'm not saying everybody. Not everybody. What you got to say, D. What you got to say? Well, 
And see, we perform at a lot of Comic Con conventions. Okay. And where people dress up. And where right. people dress up, and when they, when people dress in different ethnicities, like when they're like they're playing, if there's a black person playing Superman, they don't get in white face or if like there, there's been, there's been, <laughs> tons, been the there's been tons of like we would and we would see them, we would go me and the fellas would go we seen like a lot of white kids dressed as blade and they okay. just wear the outfits wear the without we know your blade. Yeah. If you wear like a, you a bulls outfit at number one and you got a basketball I know you're D Rose. You don't <laughs> right. have to like, like, they, oh, yeah. put that skin like Derrick Rose. Like no. Like the closest thing you might see at Comic Con is somebody like may have a half Mr. T Hair is black. <laughs> right. Yeah, I mean, but, I mean, but their face is cool. You know, like they. I, I mean, I think the cosplayers should just do yeah, it. Yeah, that doesn't bother guys with afros, you know, <laughs> disco right. guys or whatever. Comic Con. I get it. Because the cosplayers that. don't do that. That's that's not like that's not an issue. And that's what I mean when I say you take the extra step. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's universal peace at uh, Comic Con. So I, I, I love Comic Con every year. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. I mean, we are frequent visitors. But we need to just tone down the volume on the blackface. That's kind of. Uh, yeah, it is kind of. Okay, I got a list from. Uh, a list. A list from. We got to do a list. We got to have a list theme song. Yeah, exactly. The, the <laughs> thought music. The Q and Yeah, it's a, a website called the Thought Catalog. Dot com. And they had a list of 35 important things only Chicagoans will understand. I, you know, that's, that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's Should I start at 35 and then go up? Let's do it that way. Yes. It's 35, too. How about that? <laughs> it's not top 10. So do us a favor. Only do 12, and then we'll take a break and go back to them. So we keep people engaged. It sounds like a great list. <laughs> or something. <laughs> Okay. We don't know he ever read it yet. Yeah, exactly. Well, it's ready. Uh, number 35, we were the best Gotham City, which is true. When they moved yeah. Batman to Pittsburgh, yeah. it was like, yes. yeah. <laughs> okay, like what? I'm like, why? You know, was dope. I'm yeah, like why? Yeah, you standing on skyscrapers in Chicago looking down. Man, like you that's see, realistic. Like. And guess what the best Dark Knight was? The second one with the Joker in Chicago. Yes, see? sir. Yeah. I mean, seriously, the scene on the sound so, drive, you know, he's like, come on, hit me. That's why Transformers 4 keep coming back. And everybody blew Chicago up in Transformers 3, and they ain't coming back for 4 all over the end. Exactly, man. This is a wonderful, beautiful city. Yeah, okay, 34 is, uh, we're not better or worse than New York, just different. And we find the expectation to compete exhausting. No one really cares about the robbery. I don't think we're blue collar. I don't think so either. Conservative. I think, when, I think yeah. when Jordan was playing, we cared about the robbery. <laughs> Yeah. Because you know they were the, well, he was born in Brooklyn. It's like, right, right. so what? He's playing a bunch of shit too. Yeah, he right. went to right. Carolina, right. Carolina, and got out of there quickly. <laughs> Hilarious. Okay. Yeah. Number thirty-three is unless you're Suffin Stevens, you do not pronounce the S in Illinois. You might as well just slap us in the face. <laughs> Illinois. Illinois. I don't think I ever said <laughs> that's that half Illinois. Polish. Yeah, yeah I've heard people. <laughs> Illinois, <laughs> son. <laughs> Number 32, whether you are 312 or 773, you will take a strange amount of pride in your area code. Yes, we will. What if you're like 708 or 847? And the other one towards Indiana. Yeah, and the other one 219. Yeah. Wow. And I agree with number 31. Thin crust pizza is for quitters. Yes. No. That's the truth. Yes. I and mean, you can like it. <laughs> but you don't have to think it's the ultimate. But, uh, but it's not because not a good Giordano's. Yes, the addition. So. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> who, who, who said that? Giordano's <laughs> is the. You know, no, it's number, 30, number 30. Italian fiesta is the best. Uh, they do big dish? Yeah, yeah. Italian yeah, right. fiesta. So why you mention it? Cause, cause that butter crust is the best, baby. Ask Obama. The Obama family sends for that. Oh, well, that's the only place well, that was on the south side. Thank you very much. <laughs> south side pride. South side pride. Go ahead, be back. <laughs> and number thirty, real hot dogs have relish on them. If you like mayo on your hot dogs, who probably eats mayo? Should move. Probably somebody from Wisconsin. And me. You eat mayo on your hot dogs. Dude. Yeah. I wouldn't even admit that. Mayonnaise. But if you, were, <laughs> Man, if, oh but if you know, but Chicago is a very diverse city, so there's different ways to eat your dog. People put sauerkraut. They put, uh, what's that, that lime uh, relish on there. So if you go to Al's Beef or whatever, people eat hot dogs different ways. Not yeah. mayo. Yes, I'm mayo. Never heard of mayo. That's a first then you need to live a little and step out of Indiana. I don't need to live to eat mayo on my hot dog. Aaron, I'm just saying, everybody... I'm sorry. 
Alabama. It's just eggs and what what else is it? Well, it's ketchup. And some people that's like ketchup. Bread. And that's cool. But he yeah, even the ketchup is, is in the bread. The ketchup is kind of like a fine line on hot dogs. But mayonnaise is like, I mean, you get what? to chili. You could have said chili. miracle with you I would go miracle with before mayonnaise. Well, then my thought they put it on there. So <laughs> if it's miracle <laughs> with our sale, uh, humans, whatever. Yo. No, but eat that a star, mother. Yeah, man. That's right. <laughs> That's a black one. I'm a black one. I go on the stove. I'm going to put a seat. Number 29 is kind of a touchy subject. Uh -oh. If you have bad words to say about Jay Cutler, never say them in public, especially around drunk people. It could be vital. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but that, I don't know about that. I don't show. know about I mean, yeah, he made this list don't like because it. I've been known to take people. Say that again. So what do you say? Please step to the mic, sir. <laughs> Come on. Don't be shy. Oh, 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 we got a uh, shy audience. That's Jay Cutler is not important. Jay Cutler is uh, not important. That's to us. You see, Get somebody right already there. said, what? Right. You see what you have? Be bags, though. This could be a cultural thing. Cultural thing. Okay. That's, it's like people who say Walter Payton wasn't the greatest player. No, nobody would ever nobody, say that. Nobody, nobody, say that. Right. nobody would ever Wait, say that. Would you like Green Bay? Nobody would nobody, ever nobody say, say that. Man, look, let me tell you something about Walter Payton. You have to stop talking about Walter Payton. Even if Walter Payton was not a football player, Walter Payton was a cat you want to hang out with. That's right. Walter was just a cool dude. I have to say this. On Wednesday from 8 to 11, y'all have great sports talk. And it is this exciting. <laughs> 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 you know, Social you know. radio, Wednesday, 8 to 11, y'all have a sports section. No, we need an hour for sports. No, you don't. No, we don't. Okay. <laughs> Next one. Number 28, it goes to Chicago's a sports town. Yes. Just because your team doesn't win, doesn't mean they aren't the greatest team ever, and there's almost nothing they can do to make you stop loving them. Here we go. That's audience. Cubs, thank you. Only a Cubs fan would say that. Yeah. I didn't write this. <laughs> but see, this is the truth, though. I wrote that, even though, I wrote that question. Even though we, that, that's we play Green Bay tomorrow, and Green Bay's a very good team, I hate to say that, and we'll probably lose to Green Bay on Monday Night Football, but I'm still in my mind like, the Bears are gonna win. Like, it's like we we still go hard for the Bears. The yeah. Bulls. That's, that's, also, that's, that's, also, that's why our Cubs. I mean, our Cubs. Chicago Cubs right. was the greatest. We go hard for our team. Also, accepting Sky as an official team. We accept the Sky. Who they made the playoffs good this year. year. What are you talking about? I'd rather watch Simeon play again against ah, Simeon. That's right. That's right. right. <laughs> but the sky, represent at the Sky made the. Uh, Playoffs, All right, number the 27, there's more to coffee than Starbucks. Seriously, <laughs> you have just about 20 other options in a three-block radius, which is the yeah, truth. Yeah, Man, yeah. can I get that? Like, yeah. Yes. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, you don't have yeah. to go to Starbucks. McDonald's has set them down. McCafe set Starbucks down like but no. no. Now, the AMPM got some good coffee. Yeah. There you go. I've heard of that too. I hear Dunkin' Donuts is bad, better coffee. Actually, I got a good coffee, coffee is but is that true? Yeah. 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 All the YouTube people and the uh, radio listening people, you are listening to ESOS Radio, uh, 17, 10 a.m. and online. Yes. And right now on Ustream Live at Multiculti. We do have more acts. Enjoy the list about Chicago from B Back, Steph Star, and Elevation of Illis, our ESOS host. Riding the red line late at night makes you hate college students even more when you are a college student. Hold on, hold on, B-Banks. That's North Side Riders, right? On the red line. What's on the red line? The only good thing about Venture Car, because I'm not a Venture Car fan, There's is nothing. that it's going to stop. <laughs> it's going to stop the blue line from being a motel. On. It is the blue line. So the blue line after ten o'clock, like leave with the park and get on the blue line. Going no, it is a motel. You know, so they, and bag of they had yeah. a list one time of like the, the trains, blah blah blah, dirtiest red line. Right. Most sleepiest train was the blue line because everybody sleep on the blue line. And true story, one day mm -hmm. or one night, it was Thanksgiving. I'll never forget this. Come to my sister's house. I get on the blue line and there's a guy on like the bench seats. 
lay down with a blanket and a wow. pillow. Wow. I was right. like, wow. That's wow. Like, so wow. Wow. He didn't care. Wow. He was like, what? That's a daily operation. Yeah, exactly. Wow. exactly. Sorry, I got to go to work at 7. Leave me alone. He was like, it's Thanksgiving. <laughs> Leave me alone. You guys believe it's a pistol up under that blanket, though. <laughs> Yeah, I will forever keep a car so I do not have to ride. Well, God bless your soul, baby. You God bless your soul. Of all the Chicago <laughs> sports, complaining about your local politician may be the most hallowed. We love to complain about them politicians. What's up, Jesse Jackson Jr.? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Jesse Jackson Jr.? Hey, you too soon. You're so too soon. That's too soon. I don't think so. That was, I was just going to say, it was not too soon when he was spending my money buying Michael Jackson's yeah. hat. Okay. But were, and, and Bruce Lee is little jumps. You know, like, too soon he jumped in jail and nobody knew he was in jail. Like, I, 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 so he tried movie. to go and they wouldn't let him. I, I love that movie. He tried to go early and they were like, no. I love that move that Jesse Jackson, he did a uh, backspin. He did a Jordan to the right. <laughs> <laughs> to the left. And went to jail. I'm in jail, y'all. I'm going this way while well, y'all thought I was going that way. That's really sad. Wait, wait, wait. I have to give credit. That you all got off of Paula D and now Jesse Jackson. No, no, we're not going to ride Paula. That's that weekly thing. Paula Paul D is pretty much always staple. Forever we can talk about it. Yo, you know, it's like we talk about like Chicago sports microphone mister is Paula D. You know, so. You said somebody do something stupid. In that order. You would say something stupid. If you were Paula Dean, come on, man. Right. Number Dean, 24. Why? Nobody wants to smell your sandwich on the train. No, they don't. Nobody. How many onions do you have to eat? Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> so what? <laughs> Literally, have people have picnics on the red line. Hey, Jimmy John. Jimmy, come on. This is what I seen one time on the red line. What you see? There was this crazy dude on the red line. Which one? And he, yeah, you know the crazy guy on the red line. Which one? It wasn't me. It was another crazy guy. And this dude had a bucket of chicken. Oh my god. And every person that passed by, he wait, it gets better. I mean, what? He goes, and every person that passed by. Want some chicken? What? chicken? No, no, and people no. are like, no, no. <laughs> so this big sister got on the train, uh -oh, uh -oh. and he was like, want some What's chicken? She said, sister? yeah, want some pie? <laughs> That's a joke. I swear. It it happened. Happened. What? You put that joke together. No, I did oh, not. No. I can't make this up. No, who had the Kool-Aid? <laughs> <laughs> when it happened, I was like, that's awesome. <laughs> no, they had a picnic <laughs> on the train. <laughs> that's what I love about Chicago. That's and, that's, what and that's what the venture is going to mess up, man. It, the venture going to mess up. That's when you you so happy you know how to cross cars. You, right. <laughs> You lift it up and you twist it. Doing this since I was a teenager. I ride in the middle. I don't care. <laughs> 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 Just hold on to the truck to the chair. Oh, my God. Oh, but you know what? Now that the red line is new, I wonder, can you still do that? Yeah, I see it. And you can still do that? Yeah. Okay, okay. Mm. Number 23. I did not write this, folks. We got up here. This is 23, so listen in before we introduce our next act. Okay. Who we got coming up? Uh, uh, Mark, uh, kind of he's going to do an acapella piece. He was our first walk-in audience host. Where's the brother at? Oh, okay. All right. All right. He's, he's, he's okay. going okay. once. He's going okay. once. He's going once. There you go. Highest low in the building. Highest low. Oh, it's like a silhouette over there. That should be like a poster. It's the highest on the most. I did that. Yes, sir. We good, though. Tell us where to be back. Yeah, so here, 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 here. Y'all want to hear something Yes, back. yes, we do. Okay. I didn't write this. <laughs> the South Side is a big place okay. with lots of different neighborhoods, and when outsiders treat it like a death sentence, it pees us off. Seriously, guys, you don't know S about the South Side. <laughs> yes, they do. That's Somebody true. wrote that, which is true. No, that's very true. I don't know how they're trying to say it ain't right, but that's true. Yes. So right now, we're going to get into our next act. Right on. Right? So we're going to set you over the mic, and we're going to take a call. Oh. That was like a bad infomercial. 
<laughs> but that's pretty much what this is. Infomercials are pretty much all of that. It's not that kind of oxymoron. Yeah, it's a moxyoron. <laughs> 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 no. <laughs> so, uh, introduce yourself. He was our first audience member for the first show, and he's an artist, and that's what we celebrate here at East Social Radio. Oh, well, thank, you for coming. Coming. Thank, you first. thank you. More, more history tonight. This is a short history. Yes. Uh, history I'm Russ Marvin Bruce, and I was told about this event. And I'm happy to be here, and I like the way how it operates. Well, Appreciate you being here. Thank you. I sing and say poems. Okay. And right at this part now, I have a poem that I would share with you. We would love to hear it. Yeah. It's called The Lost Steps. The Lost Steps. The rain come tumbling down. Our path in our crying riverbed. Soil on the feet, sun and footprints. Now turn history in our minds. No. Tomorrow and nights to come. My way back home haunts me. A tarnished background is my mirror of pain. An anguish reflection. The garden cries for the sin. A tree of good knowledge dances with the wind in the nick of time. Yes, an evil grows lushly. Once I trace the car steps, leading to a foggy pit. Stand still me to this muddy thinking, like a shabby trick of distress. To a world of disabilities, yet the search journeys for the lost steps. And I don't know why I rest away with tried. I don't know why I rest away with tried. Oh, yeah. Yes, thank you. All right, all right, right. Give thank it up so for me, y'all. Thank you so much for blessing us. That's what's up. That's what's up. Yeah. That's how we bring it to all. We do it like that. Good to get every yes. aspect of the Culture. Yes, uh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. What's 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 next, SP? You, yeah, what you got going on? We're back on the list. You want to go back to the list? Oh, we're back, back to the list. All right, all right, all right. All right. <laughs> yeah, we're 22 on the 35 things, important things only Chicagoans will understand from thoughtcatalog.com. Number 22, real cities have musicals named after them. We got a Chicago. There is a Chicago, exactly. Yeah. You know, Chicago, and is there another musical? Musical. Oklahoma. I was about to, I'm just about to say Oklahoma. <laughs> is that a real city? Uh, I mean, so. State. It's a state. It's a state. Yeah. Uh, number twenty-one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. Fukudomi is a person, not a suggestion. Wait a minute. It's true. <laughs> it's true. Cubs, Cubs. More Cubs. Okay. And, okay. And number, number 20, which is a big Cub thing. Uh -oh. Always avoid the train doing sports games. Yes. You know, yourself yes. Later. It don't make a difference. What? Oh, my goodness. Aye, aye, aye. Man, when I lived up north in Rogers Park doing Cub games, it was wrong. It, man, no, I don't know you. No, I don't want to have a brew with you. Just Sox do. games too, dude. I remember one time me and Nocturne, uh, one of my brothers from Dane Species, coming from a sock game. To get on the L at 35th, it was it, it was taking like 35 minutes, and we were going south. We weren't even going north. Yeah. And yeah. we couldn't even get on. So we wind up walking to the next the next train, which took us another hour because hmm. that's not a quick walk. So, and we realized that after that, we were walking like, man, that was stupid. Why did we do that? I had no idea. you're driving, on you on the train, you're like, yeah, it's 10 minutes. No, it's not. No. Don't walk from 35th to 47th. Don't do it. Long walk. I don't understand number 19. Maybe somebody, my beer drinker, is like, don't order a, a Miller Lite at a gastro pub. You can. But you might get secretly judged. Anyone? I, don't know about that. Yeah, I have no idea. I'm not sure that. Anybody know? Anybody, uh, Ray, you can. Next. Yeah, that's. Yeah. I don't know about that one. He was like, yeah, a gastro. 
<laughs> they had to throw some in. They didn't have enough. Uh, when you want a table at your favorite restaurant, you're willing to show up at 4:30 p.m. to get it. No. No. Culture. Culture. Yeah. Culture. 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 There are things in life that you have to deal with, like crappy weather. Or that a Trader Joe's will never open in your neighborhood. A train car that smells like pee is not one of those things. <laughs> I don't like this stuff. They are building the whole food in the hood. They are building the whole food in the hood. And that fruit and that vegetable will not be organically grown. You okay. don't think? No. It's not. I'm just playing. I don't know. It should be. Summer isn't really summer without going to an awesome music festival. Yeah. <laughs> That should be number Since one. We have two major ones as well as a million. Yeah, if that, 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 that number was that bad? That was number sixteen. If that ain't that should have been a top five right there. That's wow. the best thing about Chicago, yo. Now Oprah might be a daytime talk show to the rest of the world, but to us, she's a goddess. Oh, really? I don't know. She used to be. She used to be. Well, at one time, as people, I, I got mad respect kind of, for Oprah. I, mean, yeah. I like Oprah. But at a point, you, yeah. you kind of got the. Uh, yeah, okay. I mean she's Hollywood now. But. You know how how do y'all feel about R. Kelly? Do y'all like R. Kelly? Ooh, Ooh, I don't know. Ooh. We like, eh. but we respect I want to keep them. My door we respect them, like we respect it. Oprah, but we not like, oh my god. The Oprah was Only when she get your car. That's when you like, oh my god. I would jump, I would jump ship for yeah. Oprah in a jumpsuit and the from feathered hair. Butler. She had that jumpsuit on. Y'all better hey, stop. I saw what she had in that jumpsuit. Son. I saw what she had in that. But jumpsuit. Oprah with no makeup though. That's the real Oprah. Oprah with the money? I'll take it. Yeah. <laughs> Oprah ain't never been broke, though. It don't seem like anyway. Oh, yeah, he comes D. He comes D, man. <laughs> and he was a little slow, too. Like, oh, I got a, he had to build up before he came. Because I got an I gotta, I gotta issue. Uh-oh. I wanted, I wanted him to hip-hop. But no, but because I, I hear her talk all of that stuff, and she's all pro, you know, precious and all of this, but... I ain't never seen Tazley and Jamila on a show. Uh-oh. Who's done like yeah. overseas? Right, right, right. Like, right. I ain't never Pick seen Steph. I ain't never seen. You know, I ain't yeah. never seen none right. of the queens of Chicago hip hop and soul right. performing at her show. You don't have to hit the heart. What? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> exactly. Like, you know, and that that just that just makes her whack. Because, <laughs> because <laughs> I feel like she too global for the Chicago I, stuff. <laughs> In the lights of D-Next comment, our brother Paul Mooney made the best comment. You can see this. Oh, yeah, tell him about the run about he asked Sister Oprah, why would... No, he asked Barbara Walters. He, wait, wait, wait. Barbara Paul Walters, asked, and Barbara. Barbara Walters <laughs> asked Oprah, did she ever think about if she was white? And Oprah started crying, and she said, yes! Oh, yeah. So I Louis Farrakhan mm-hmm. said... Barbara Walter, why would you ask Sister Oprah? <laughs> <laughs> you know, Farrakhan, okay? Yeah. Farrakhan, like, would she ever be white? Like, first thing, the whole comment, even if you want to say yes, don't say yes. <laughs> it's like being a German and you might, you're yeah. Jewish. You don't but you got to understand no, that. You know, that Oprah is the same thing. Do you, if you're black, do you ever be want to be white? But it's like asking the Jewish person if they ever want to be a Nazi. But you gotta check out who you talking about, though. It took Bernie Mac sitting on her shoulder to introduce her to a hot link. Oh. So she don't really know, and it's live. And boo, and I'm sorry, Oprah, come talk to me, honey. But she wanna, she, she wanna be. That's she's in that 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 tax bracket. I did. You know, when you make that much money, you're not you know kicking it on the south side with the chicks with the weaves and the ready hair. And Come on, you know that. You also know that Oprah wanting to be white is one of those things. Every time Oprah go over to Europe and she tries to go into a store and buy something and they keep shutting the door in her face, that's why Oprah wanted to be right. Yeah. So you you got to add all of that into it, man. So, but it's the era, yeah. but it's the era that yeah. Oprah came up in also, guys. Y'all got to remember, you know, that she came up in that era where it was no equality. Yeah, and they them. they still have that stitch in their mind. Okay. Right. Yeah. We, next, we next. Yeah, no, we didn't lost sure. the list. We on the list. This I'm is sure great. Paul Mooney was holding his microphone. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe it. <laughs> Number 14, which is kind of true, your building's heat will never come on when it gets cold. Ever. <laughs> That is number fourteen. Oh, man, they they back, I wanted to check out and see, like on the uh the, the red line, to see, like you know how they had a heat thing, the heat and thing. it shuts shuts on on November first. Yeah. I wanted to just touch it on yeah. November first. Damn, they don't even go to October. I thought it, it starts in November, it ends in March. It starts November first, and I wanted to hit it, it the other day, but I wasn't. So in right. October, when it was cold, forget about it. <laughs> 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 
Now, number 13, and I totally agree because I step on them all the time. Slow walkers are a scourge against humanity. <laughs> yes. Get out of my way. Let's go out real loud. I'm going out of a car. I'm trying to get someplace. Move. Move. Get out of the way. I'm straight get ludicrous. I'm straight ludicrous. The, the bean, this is number 12, the uh -huh. bean is actually called the cloud gate. But don't worry, Chicagoans don't call it that either. Like, I have no idea. I didn't know that. Bean. What does it mean? Brand new information. Right the there. cloud gate? I don't know. I call it the bean. Wow. Yeah. That's interesting. If the bus is crowded, move back. Please. Oh, oh yeah. Imagine, like, 20 people in the front and, like, wow. nobody in the back. So much space in the back. Wait, 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 wait. Understand yeah. that we are liberated now. Okay. No, 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 yeah. I'm not, it's seats back there. What about me? That's what I'm saying. I'm there's seats back there. I'm just, I'm just, there's like, standing room. It'd be so empty. People get on at the back of the bus. Right. right. Get in there. Get on. Like, and then the bus driver's like, please move to the back of the bus. Please move to the back of the bus. Please move to the back of the bus. I don't realize that the bus driver can look through the rear view mirror and see all that room. Yeah. 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 Y
Don't don't do it. You have to do it. Yeah, I remember, it remember how Antoine Berenges was in Desperado with the gun. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I already see it. I see it in his eyes. I can see that. Go ahead, go ahead, go. I was just gonna say briefly, there are two types of different Cubs fans. And so when you say all the bars were empty, those were the Cubs fans who are probably not from Chicago. Right. And are attending all the colleges in that area. Right. True. To True. the scene of True. drinking in Wrigleyville. True, because there are a lot of fans that come specifically yeah, for, those, the, for the party. For those the are the atmosphere. ones that I don't like as a soccer fan, <laughs> as a South Side. <laughs> don't like the Cubs fans that I do respect fans. are the older ones and the ones who bring their kids. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, those are yeah, that are yeah. baseball yeah. peers. Now, he's yeah. super That's South Side like. to the heart. Yeah. My man Eric, his mom used to take him to Cub, fan, or cub games because she was a Cub fan. And That's the he urinals. And, you know, we used to go to, we used to, my mom went to DePaul, so that's what we did when we, when she, she took me to school with him when she was in college, and bam, we used to hit Wrigley Field. Okay. Right there. Go. And so see, that's a legit story. Black mama. Plus. Plus. Right. I'm, I'm cultural. Okay. I did. I'm not a heathen. <laughs> my family ain't from the gut. I am. Anyway, um. The other thing was, too, being a Cub fan, when you came home, being in my age, that's what was on TV. That was on Channel yeah, 9. Yeah, Channel 9 was always in the afternoon, If she wasn't watching the soap opera, she was watching the Cubs, telling huh, my grandmother. Well, that was so the only thing WGN did right then. Exactly. They playing the Cubs. When, when, uh, that was before MC Hammer, <laughs> MC Hammer and MC Light were you nominated after uh, Will Smith, when Will Smith won the Grammy. MC Hammer and MC Light were nominated for the same award. Right. And guess what they called them? Mac Cup Hammer fans? and Mac Light. WG, and that was the only thing like, that you write at Cubs game. Wow. I'll never forget that in my life. I was like, what's a Mac Hammer and a Mac Light? <laughs> new, new McDonald's sandwiches. <laughs> that is crazy. That's the only thing WG and did right Mac at Cubs game. game. No, no, Cub Games, Mozo, and Long Ranger. Long Ranger, Long Ranger, WGN. Oh, yeah, and Cisco, and Cisco Kid right behind it. Man, we should have a Soul Train. Soul Train. Oh, yeah, Soul Train. Stop Don Cardenas. Let's get on the next one. Number six, and then we'll stop at five and do what we're going to do. I'll introduce our next act. And we have another act time. All right, number six is, I agree. Venture is the worst thing that has ever happened to me. Yes, they're right. talking about the land. They're talking about the land. <laughs> Man, I mean, yeah, that's, that's, that's that's You know what my about sister about told me today? She was like, if I tap my thing and it say stop, I should not be penalized. You mean she may tap a card or her thing? <laughs> Thank you. Man, come on, <laughs> man. And a collective boo <laughs> goes out of the audience. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, audience. We're Thank glad you. Y'all yeah. Usually on Wednesdays, we have no one to boot him. Right, right. So we're so glad you're here this week. We really appreciate that. I got a joke for everybody. No, no. No, <laughs> no you don't. Let me finish saying what I was saying. Hey, this is way. information. Please, please. Please, let me go forward. This is information. So you you tap it, and it says stop, right? Okay. And so the bus driver said, hold on. Why am I stopping when if I take my card to put money on it, it's going to say negative whatever. So I'm going to have to pay that negative if I want to ride again. Right. So why is the bus driver stopping me? Because she didn't take her thing. No, I, so, <laughs> I shouldn't have to pay right now. I shouldn't have to pay right now. You go to the, you know, you tap it and say stop. That must undoubtedly it means... <laughs> Undoubtedly, it means that you're in a negative. Right. It doesn't mean you don't have money right. on it. It just means you're in a negative. So I could go sit down and chill, and you know I'm going to ride again. So when I need to refill, I got to fill up that negative. Can SP give his But a lot title. of people don't know that. No, because we're three. already on the top list right <laughs> now. <laughs> and no, no, no. They, nobody says that about venture. Ladies and gentlemen, come on. You no, buy the car, ahead. it says 15 months from now on your account. If you don't use the car, they charge you $2 a month. So say you get the card, you register it, and I hand it to you. You say uh, later for SP. You throw the card away. A year from now, they're going to charge me two dollars a month on if my it's card. Registered. Yeah, it's registered. If it's registered. registered, if it's registered. So watch being registered on that card, and and then they openly let you know that using the card, they're tracking you. The commercial says Amy's on the yeah. south side. Amy goes to the game. Amy buys a coffee. I'm, I'm not a big, that's whole, big brother and conspiracy that. thing, but they're openly saying no, yeah, we not, are That's why you can't connect it with your So if you got a link card and you're shopping up north and you live in Inglewood, they know you didn't buy what they thought you bought when you <laughs> get your link card that you did. No one where have, link card still exists. At the time it does. No one charges you $5 to, to, to give it back. Yeah. Like that, 
So, and if they're not going to be honest about or direct about what they're paying you for, because they're paying you for, so they're buying something from you for five dollars, and they're selling it as we're going to, you're going to buy this car for five dollars, and then we're going to give it back. But you're really selling them something else that you don't know what you're selling. Right. No, no, what you're selling is a tracking device. But that, that's that's ridiculous. But the no, tracking, well, at least they're honest about but it. But the tracking it, device, it, the tracking device is implemented because we were supposed to get the Olympics here. So the Olympics. You know, gonna be here, oh, so kill the contract. Fight. Kill the contract. Fight. Yes, of course. So people can get around the city yeah, easily. The red line, the the red line now, open yeah, the back but up. we don't have that contract anymore. Bike. Yeah, and a divvy bike is approved through the winner. Oh, but okay. all Has anyone noticed that, that real the, the, the logo on the divvy bike looks just like the logo on the venture card? And they're both yeah, the that's just the same company. company. It's just me and my bugger nope. right now. No, nope. it's the same company. I mean, when I seen it, I was like. That looks like a Dibby bike. So if you say, hey, I, don't, I really don't want to ride the train, well, Dibby bike's right this there. This is also... Oh, they, they, they think we are naive. And, right. and because yeah. of eSocial, we're talking about a trending topic. Every Q4 on radio. Every 8 to 11 it's Wednesday. A blood, it's a <laughs> <laughs> go ahead, you do it best, Eric. You I do it. not. Go uh, ahead. You stop. Stop. Uh, but we're going to go. Keep moving. Before yeah, you do yeah. the last five, we're going to postpone and introduce. Well, okay. Well, we're here now. Our, uh, go ahead. What's his name? Ken Retro. We got Ken Come Retro coming. Come, Come sit on the mic. couch with us, Ken Retro. Let's see what your life about. Let's give a hand, y'all. Yes, 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 right. yes. We're right. going to right. test him by our standards. Our standards is talent, business sense. Yes. And. And how much you going to pay me? <laughs> <laughs> talent, business sense. And, and, you know, your longevity, if oh, you're right, so let's see what's much. happening. So we got your CD here. This is a pretty strong cover. Yeah, thank Can you, you uh, tell us um, the meaning behind us? Yeah, that, that's my independent album. Um, it's called The Ed Ego of Super Ego. So you've been signed before? No, 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 no. And I'm just, let's just, explain just, just the artwork, please. Just a little please. clarity, you know, clarifying that I'm an independent artist. And, uh, you know, that's my independent album, first album. And it's called The Ed Ego of Super Ego. So the reason behind the skull and the heart, like I'm, in college, I was real like into like psychology and stuff like that, and um, and then taking that, we use it every day. We use it, ego, super ego every day. We just don't really, you know, acknowledge that. Mm -hmm. But um, so we was like, it'd be dope if we took like actual. At first, we had the image of a brain, but we was like, we'll just take a skull, we'll take like the, the studio uh, mic thing and and turn it into a heart because we use our minds, but we also use our hearts, and sometimes the heart is treacherous. You know, the Bible says that. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? So I kind of just, you know, implemented those two things into yeah. to that, and that's what we got the image of the cover for. Okay, so what um, what are uh, what can we you know expect to hear? What's the whole? Yeah. What what what's the agenda yeah. behind the album? Because yeah. we gotta have you on the show mm -hmm. so we can uh play the music and get more depth in depth talk with right. you, but. Just give the people a brief little thing about what we can expect to hear. So with the Ed Ego and the Super Ego, um, everything on the album is is relatable. It's not all conscious. Like it's you know what I'm saying it's it's a feel good album. It's gonna make you feel good. It might make you feel sad. Um, might make you uh, recall some things or whatever. But like I said, it's something that we use every day. You know on a, on a daily basis. Um, so but that this album is straight from my my adolescence like my life growing up and then up until now so that's why i called it the ed ego and super ego because like i said i was like really into it you know what i'm saying and, right. and a lot of songs on the album are relatable so let's get into what what is vultures about vultures okay yeah so vultures is about you know it's about guys and it, it, it goes both ways nowadays but you know majority about guys um just kind of like eyeing women for the wrong reasons, mm -hmm. and and Word. you know, and I made it because um, like a lot of females, was, you know, they they say, oh well, you know, I, I want a guy to uh, that love me for who I am and this and that and so and so instead of what I look like and my physical features and stuff like that. Even though all of that is nice, but at the same time, you know, depending on what you're looking for, you kind of want to look, you know, inside instead of mm -hmm. you know, to, in addition to outside too. Exactly. So, uh, Vultures is just kind of like a, you would say, like a warning song for for young females and any female, period, but specifically, you know, young, low, low self esteem, you know, females, stuff like that. So, okay. Yeah. So, who are some of your favorite MCs? MCs now, not rappers. 
I know. MC. I know yeah, that's, that's very. I know the difference. Yeah. Very, okay. Very, very, I'm glad you very clear. Yes, yes. On this show. MC. I'm glad you just say, man, ain't that the same thing? <laughs> <laughs> Like for real. Yolo, yolo, yolo. Break it down for us. Uh, so, like, my, my, well, I grew up on a lot of 90s uh, hip hop. Okay. And my favorite, like, MCs and groups, uh, like, you know, my favorite of all is Tribe Called Quest. Okay. And then I uh, love Common. Uh, my other favorite is Most Def, but I know he currently changed his name. Yes. Uh, yesterday. Yeah. Uh, I still love the dude. I saw him, like, one time at a concert with uh, MF Doom. Straight yeah, up. It was, okay. it was, it was still most deaf. Yeah, still most deaf to me. Right? Yeah. Mama right. called him most. Mama called him most. Right. <laughs> was that that show that, that the Congress? The Congress we'll talk about that. Yeah. That, yeah. that was crazy. Dude. Yeah, that was crazy. We'll get into it. Talk about it. Yeah, because that'll be show, like, right, that's another uh, Okay, well, y'all gotta tune in 8 p.m. to 11 p.m. Yeah, to check that back, out. We'll talk we gonna have Ken Retro on in. Really? Oh, y'all know. I'm trying to know. I'm trying to know. What track do you want? So what are you gonna perform for us um, tonight? I'm gonna do I'm gonna do uh, do my thing. That's the first single off the album that we're promoting. Okay. Um, I actually have a campaign uh, in New York behind me um, pushing the album. So oh. Quantum Technique Production. So um, do my thing is the first single, and then after that I'm gonna perform uh, Legend. Yeah, and apparently oh, cool. we're Facebook friends, so oh. it's nice to meet you, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't that something? Yeah. Right. Good network. It's MySpace all over again, yeah, Facebook, isn't it? Right. Twenty-nine hundred <laughs> friends. I'm like. So let's let's um introduce him right now, ladies and gentlemen, Ken Retro. Give it up. All right. Do my thing. Do my thing. First single off the album. Ed Ego Super Ego. You can buy it on iTunes, Move Music, Amazon, Xbox Music, whatever digital distribution is out there. You can cop the album. And the Ken is with two N's. K E N N. Yeah, what it is, what it is. Check it out, it's what it is. Feel like it was yesterday, some years ago in college, I remember slapping paints like a rage of alcoholic. And I know it was that outcast mind state that paved the way for the taste that you embrace. And ever since, I've been facing what I can't escape. Shout out to town voices and the fakers in my past. Smiling in my face, hating on me behind my back. It's too long, get mad. Kudos to you instead. I stay on my ground, hustling to get this paper stack. And never look back, my wounds are feel. Hard for nothing in my heart, stressing now, who killed? And even Sister Alpha, hopping back from now, la la la's. But nowadays, trying to make some changes, tell a ha ha. But I keep pushing this sense. Your boy gotta remain, lacing the game, the same doing it, yeah. I just wanna do my thing, check the game, the fade the black. I'm a long way from that, relax. Well, I do my thing, just do my thing, just do my thing, just do it. The shorty, I'ma do my thing, just do my thing, just do my thing, just do it. I don't know what your definition of a hustler is, but I'ma do the damn thing. Something got to give, uh, that's what it is, what it, that's what it is, right? That's what it is, what it. Uh, if I had a meal plus, I would life up, right? Cause first I get my daughter with water, she making nice, yeah. White brown sugar for life, yeah, I'm the type, bro. Do the right thing, let's fight. Until I get it, I'ma rip whatever's clever with this music. Here's a throwback, like Nike, I'ma just do it. If y'all stay parallel, then I'm breaking with the groove. I'm saying, you feel the damn self, but I'm going ham, feel me? I flip for poison and maybe a couple L's. It's where I need it for my mind, easing in this hell. Sometimes work, whatever's good. Bro, just to get by, yay, and I'ma touch the sky. I'm going up, but now I'm ground level. Well, y'all thinking G5s, I'm thinking space shuttles, but check it, I know the deal still. I want the lavish life feel. I'ma go get a what you respect, and you won't keep it real. I do my thing, just do my thing, just do my thing, just do it. You shorty, I'ma do my thing, just do my thing, just do my thing, just do it. I don't know what your definition of a hustler is, but I'ma do the thing. Something got to get. Yeah, uh, that's what it is, what it, that's what it is, right? That's what it is, right? That's what it is, right? Up a hustler, it's on the something got to give. Uh, that's what it is, what it, that's what it is, right? That's what it is, what it, that's what it is, right? Yeah. Jumpst
Yeah, retro. Yeah, it continues. Pop the album to sell them. You know what I'm saying? Check out that the joint somewhere. That's what it is. Do my thing is universal for everybody. I just I suffer. Do my thing, do my thing, do my thing. Show me how to do my thing, do my thing, do my thing. Story's called Legends. 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 I just close my eyes and I just imagine I dream every night I'll be a legend Don't, don't take me for granted I'll be a legend, I bet it as much as all I can talk about it, I have to give it life, push it and never doubt it. Surrounding every feeling, effort the whole existence. Never break down, no, I'm not gonna miss it. Yeah, who am I kidding? I use it for motivational spirit. Ain't trying to hear it when it's me against the world. I don't fear it. Live, love, laugh. But that's the aftermath. Ain't nothing sweet before it's bitter and after the heat. No time to sleep. Freak out. To succeed, and only to succeed, no doubt. If I can murder a spark of turbulence, berserk and dirt. It's curtains, I'm hurting status of pockets, of squashing whatever you dropping. I'm a man of respect, but that's a present earned. And don't you ever forget. Now then I got it up my chest. The impression that I'm leaving on these lines is in fact a legend. I just close my eyes and I just imagine. I dream every night I'll meet a legend Don't take me for granted I'll be a legend, I bet it In case you didn't notice, I'm sadistic, twisted, a misfit, holy With a weakness, I'm holy, but no one dare hear me Creator what I can be, no perfect production Busting my, to blow up the truck and these cats who were touching for the fact I'm covering you, put a little bit of pep in there. I represent that excellence, the way the glory, the legend. Check the story, if I rule the world, imagine that. Check the story, check these girls over the door. Let these dudes want to support me. God, when I give up on the world, I got what they want. I'm going to spit it till I hurl. We work us to never chase the others what make me scary before you get struck and I get it. You dare me? Now that I got it off my chest, the impression that I'm leaving on these minds is in fact a legend. I just close my eyes and I just imagine. I dream every night and I'll be a legend Don't, don't, don't take me for granted Yeah, I'll be a legend I bet it, legend Once again, my name is Ken Retro Ken is with two M's That joint is called Legend Of the AP1 Super Ego album Give it up one more time, y'all. Yeah, that's, that's all I have for you tonight. All right, Ken, I was going to come back to you, sir. We appreciate you, brother. We appreciate you. Thank you. Make sure we get your information so we can have you on on our Wednesdays. No doubt, no doubt. I got you. All right. We much success talk, to you. Talk, you talk, I, got a, I got an album for you. Oh, oh, okay. oh yeah. I love it. I love it. All right. Thank you. Yeah, well, we'll talk so about we can, the, uh, the Congress show. When you come back. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Set that up with SP1. All right. Yeah. Q4 Radio, E Event Social, live uh, YouTube you, show. You can still call, too, because uh, we have not had callers, so we still call. Yeah. We yes. so, what's that number? 773-217-8344. Okay, y'all can come down here right. too because we're at 1000 North Milwaukee. We still in the building, you. We're here at Q4. So come on through. We have a good it's time down here. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yes. We're going to bring up another guest to the uh, to the couch. Uh, Who we got? Are we ready, ready for that? That's me. Yeah, he goes by. Thank you, sir. Thank, thank you so much. That. Yes. Uh, he goes by the name of Samson. Samson in the building. Is he ready? 
Yeah, he's coming. Hampton is in the house. In the bathroom? Yeah, I've seen Hampton. Yeah. So should we, uh, let's, you know what, let's continue the list. I want to wrap the list up. Let's wrap the list Let's wrap it up. We was loving the list. Let's wrap it up. Samson, we're going to get at you in just a few. We're going to wrap up this list. Let's wrap this list up. We got five left. All right, number five. I love that. Exactly. How you just doing your back trick? Exactly. <laughs> it did sound like me over that track. It did. I was you. Uh, number five. People who talk on the phone on public transit are the worst people in the world. Yeah. Yeah. Shun from society unless you need to make a call or take a call, I should say. I don't want to hear you arguing with your baby daddy. That is that is Just the don't worst. Hear that, argument. that is the worst. Well, I'm trying to ride the bus. <laughs> that is the worst. Uh oh, we got a speaker. Yeah, I'm gonna tell you, the worst thing is the people that play their music on the train. That's even worse. That's even worse. And they sit there like, you know, it's like, dude, I don't want to hear your Drake right now. I don't. I don't like Drake. You love and Drake. We, and we don't like Waka Flocka playing. I'm but not trying. We don't like Drake. Play the radio nonsense. Wild on the train. It's just like. It's, just, it's whack to do that. You want to get turned up on the train. Yeah, I'm just trying I think to turn it up. The sense of, <laughs> of personal space it is just lost on people. Yeah, that's crazy. It really is. The main issue is that um, these people are not raised with discretion. I'm right. going to have a conversation on, my phone yeah. on the train. I can curse my baby mama out on the train. It happens. And don't, don't do that. Don't, don't curse so my baby mama. mama. That's between people you people and baby mama. Loud. Right. Be loud on the train. That annoys me. I, and that's when you know how to cross trains and go to the next yeah, place. Man, you know, <laughs> it works. The lost it's art form. It's multiple meanings for crossing the if train. If you don't know how to cross the train, you better learn. <laughs> I don't want to smell your lunch. I don't, I don't, don't want to hear your conversation. I'm, I'm, I'm not interested in the cup game right now. <laughs> number four should have been number one to me. I sound like Biggie on that. Thank you. Yes, you I, did. I, I was yes, like, where did that come from? When you said it, I'm like, wait Number four. LeBron James is the devil. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that now let's weed him out. Right, right, let's serious. weed him out right now. Damien, maybe. If there are any <laughs> son of the devil, if there are any heat the devils in here, anybody? Because you know, it, there's like seem to be like a disease right now going on in Chicago. Hmm. It's like all of a sudden we have all these Miami Heat fans. You know what? It is very Why? strange. Bandwagon followers. The bandwagon is so heavy. People want to love who they think is the greatest. Regardless, so they just bandwagon. Yep, yep, yep. Bandwagon. Yeah, I wouldn't call I wouldn't call LBJ the devil, but uh, <laughs> the devil son. Just not the devil son. You get him with the big L move. He's like the de the devil son. Or his cousin. But not yeah, but quite the and and you know was, I was watching them as they played the Bulls the other night, and I said to myself, I said, self, self. <laughs> I really, I really, really hate the Heat, but my goodness, this kid is so good. Yeah, he. I mean, like he and it's like best. Like did did you get did you just get a three point shot and then now you got a flame with that too? Right. It's just like why are you this good? You can't hate him. I hate him. But <laughs> may I, may I throw oh, a question? Oh, but I can. You can't hate him. Can. That I threw at Eric about a week ago is that uh, ESPN said said who would you give the ball to at yeah, the last I, second I, I fourth that. quarter? Was, uh, Michael that. Jordan, Jordan, Kobe, or, or LeBron. LeBron. Ooh. And LeBron you did not. Yeah, get, I hear you on this, sister. I hear you. What, what, what Jordan, she, she, Jordan. LeBron, she, LeBron wasn't even accepted. She was like, was like, what y'all yeah. talking about? Because you know what? LeBron is not accepted because, and, and until recently, LeBron shied away from that shot. He really did. At, at the last minute. Hmm. You know, he, and that's not knocking his skill. He just was more of a defer player. Right, you know, he he he'll try to open up that shot. Oh, when he came into the else. league, he was a passer. He, he, was, he, passed, he, he said he wanted to be like Magic Johnson. Right, that's oh, all. Okay. He said he was like, ah. Oh, but man. you go with you go with Jordan automatically because of the killer instinct. He Mike he was, just was Jason. Mike was Bruce Lee with the, with the ball, man. It's like so, come on with it you. wasn't no joke about that. Kobe a close second, but Kobe, Kobe but nobody. Put MJ had ice water in his vans, and and not to mention Mike been doing that since college. He did as a freshman in North Carolina. He was like, get him to he. <laughs> I'm not in championships with this shot. <laughs> Mike didn't care. Uh, it's a, that was a dumb question, ESPN. Yeah. <laughs> who, who would you give a last shot to? But you know what? That, that's going to open up to the base. So, yeah. It really will. <laughs> yeah. Steve Kerr. That's what I say, Steve Kerr. <laughs> who passed Steve Kerr that ball? Like? <laughs> okay. You know, he, he was like, you be ready. Remember he said that to him on the bench? And Steve was like, yes. <laughs> what if he wasn't ready? Right? Shut up. Can you imagine that practice? Mike would have. 
really hurt his feelings. Mike used to kill people in practice. It's number three, and it's the truth. It's called the Sears Tower. Yeah. Basically, Thank you. <laughs> basically. What, what else is it called? The Willis Tower. No, I'm, 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 being like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm being sarcastic right. too. Okay, like. It's been called the Sears Tower since 1975. <laughs> so you're talking about 39 years, almost 40 years old. And the people are, like, where's the Willis Tower at? I'm sorry, sir. I don't understand what you're talking about. <laughs> right. <laughs> You must have just moved in Willisville. Right. right. No way. Just the scopes. Because I don't know. <laughs> it's not a year. <laughs> Willis Tower. Number two should be like two and two A. Because I do. In, in, in the, right. In the winter, it's not worth it to go anywhere more than five blocks from your house. <laughs> Get to know your neighborhood. Right. And I, I'm at two A because it's like also in the winter, two guys all of a sudden want a girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Is it cuffing season? <laughs> and I, at first when I heard this, you know what I'm talking about. What? I, when I heard it, I, I didn't understand what it meant. Mm -hmm. I, they were like, man, it's cuffing season out here. It's cuffing season. And I was like, what do you, what do you mean? You know, when you want to be booed up all winter, then you just Ooh, break yeah. up with him in the spring. <laughs> it ain't right. It ain't right. It ain't Is right. that a thing for and real? And I feel sorry for the big girls because they do the oh big my girls. Oh, 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 they won't keep you warm. Big girls. Big girls need love. Don't do that. Hey, but girl, that's what y'all do, though. Don't tell y'all. That's some good love. I prefer one. Some some you species, know that. I'm talking about your species. Yeah, the species does do that. Not endangered species. Not endangered. Thank you very much. But the male species. I don't understand number one, but I'm going to read it anyway. They say it's not called the Windy City because of the weather. It's because of the politics. Yeah. However, on a really cold day, you won't care about the difference. <laughs> yeah, true. That's true. That's true. That's true. That's true. That's true. That's true. true. Yeah. That is true. Yeah. Ooh, number That's one. number one. That's number one. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Oh, this. Dude, I've been sitting here for like an hour waiting for like the greatest number one ever. And that <laughs> right. Let down. You thought it was going to be something like Michael Jordan is like, ah. Oh, we got a speaker. There was no, we got a like, no, no he, mention of MJ in there. So, we, like, we know who speaker, killed Kenny. Let the speaker speak up. Is there a bibliography on this list? <laughs> yeah, I want to know where this information came from. Uh, uh, some dude. Some thought catalog. Some dude. Some dude. Um, I don't know. <laughs> oh, oh, oh! I see you have your name up here, Nico Lang. Some dude from Wisconsin. Yeah, yeah he's not from Chicago. Yeah, no, he's not. Nico, I'm gonna track you down and ask you what's up with that. You guys are tuned in to the E Event Social here on Q4 Radio. We're gonna bring up Samson right now. So we do this every Wednesday, y'all. We profile our local artists. So. Please, 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 please get us. Yeah, get us, get us, get us, get us. Grab that mic right there, Samson. Grab that mic right there. All right. What is this playing? That's you, Samson? Yeah, that's me. All right. Oh, okay. Where are you from, Samson? Where are you from, son? South side, South side. Oh, man. What's up? Where are you bulletproof at? <laughs> <laughs> well, you bulletproof. You got to see tonight. You got to say this. No, no, I'm saying coming from there. All right, she lives over there. Right. Yeah, we know. I'm over there. I'm over there. I'm giving Samson the uh, the itchy mic. No, no. <laughs> it's a cord. It's just technique, technique. But I'm giving him the uh, Soldiers at War Award because he has stickers on every damn Ryan entrance. And wow. You must have had then. Am I wrong? Do you have yeah, I had Dred. Okay. 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 Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. He still got oh, he up there. Good. In the top five with the gingerbread stickers. Okay. You know, from Soldiers at War. So I give you a hustle award. Yeah, dude. I give you a hustle award. And, you hustle war, Sam, and, and, and ladies and gentlemen, if you don't know who Soldiers War is, back in the 90s, oh my God. War was like a street team slash hip hop crew Man, it was slash like really click yeah. slash yeah. movement <laughs> slash. They were everywhere. But they was doing it. Though. I never heard one song from Soldiers of War. <laughs> <laughs> they were they all like, they got they got were they were they were they were but they, but you knew who they were. They, 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 they were like bright green jackets and shirts, and they just got on the street. With the you ain't never seen a truck though. Yeah, yeah. seen a truck. You know, and I would see that song. I'm like, man, Soldiers of War. Man, I saw people selling CDs who weren't the rappers. Exactly, they wouldn't even own the CD, and they had people selling their CDs. Be like, man, you on this? Like, no, nah, man, I just work for Soldiers of War. And Sassy <laughs> man, what? Yeah, he, he get that he award. Get the award. So, so what, what, tell us about your project, man. What, what, yeah, what tell us about it. I just did a project called Fuck Fang. Uh-oh. Oh, oh and, by the way. Yeah. Very important. You may have to bleep yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right on. Right. <laughs> yeah, we, <laughs> our fault for not telling you. Yeah, right, right. Tell us where we at AM and on you. Yeah, we're on AM 1710. 
So uh, you have to. And this is a live YouTube right. stream. Okay, live. so Fane. Not curse, son. Fane, let's let's <laughs> yeah, get in depth a, about it. Show right now. Why do you feel this way? I want the money. I don't want to just be famous. I'm trying to make some money. Oh, okay, so you want to be comfortable, not famous. Right. I can relate to that. So yeah. run a, run a, the titles down to us that pertain to this. Should I, my first track, the intro called Thank You. I was just thanking everybody who helped me along the way mm -hmm. to get where I'm at. And sure, everything on that just, it's just coming from me. You know what, people have a lot of questions for you when you're right. rapping and all that. So I just put in a couple songs through the mixtape and, and answered it for them. Okay. You, you just answered those questions? Yes. Because I just answered a lot of a lot of the people questions. You know, they ask you. Right, like, man, how, how you, who you sound like? Just like, 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 the time on the CD. No, where, yeah, where, where, where can they find you, man? Where you're on that piff or Lab Mixtapes, that piff YouTube. Or okay. You everywhere. Everywhere. <laughs> That's what you gotta do. And your stickers are everywhere. I ain't put them up though, but I, somebody I don't know where I put street them up. Team. Thank you to them. Yeah, that's one. Right up. Shout out to the street bullies. Yeah, go street team. That's cool. The street bullies, y'all are them. Yes. yes. No, that ain't them. I need them. No, it was oh, a joke. Oh, okay. Oh, no, that's for real. Yeah, yeah. Um, so where can we catch you at next? Uh, no, November twenty third, KLD. Wow, you got you a holiday show. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. That's the artist. That's the artist in me. Yeah, on the 26th, I'm at uh, uh, Red Diamond. Yeah, that's actually the holiday. That's the holiday. Where are these spots at, man? That's like, yeah, because some people may not know. I don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so y'all Google. Bro, you will find out before the show. Red Diamond. <laughs> I, I know, but I don't know the address. Oh, right, I got you. Okay. Yeah, y'all, y'all yeah. Google that, man. Use your computers, your phone, and find out no, where Samson's is gonna be at. Right, give us your Twitter. So let's say we ask uh, King Samson BBG. That is my Twitter and Instagram. So. Okay. Just like we ask uh, Samson. I mean, not Samson, but uh, Ken Retro. Who are your influences? Like, yeah, who, like who are your favorite MCs or rappers? Like, uh, what spark you be like? Yeah, what gave I'm you the do that. inspiration? Oh, I can beat this dude in a battle. <laughs> no, I don't battle though, but that's okay. But who made you want to grab a mic? Myself. <laughs> No wow. favorites, no favorites. Sam, you a fan? You got a fan? You a fan? You don't own an album? I, no, I don't own an album. Word? I'm really not musically inclined like that. I, I, you I, are I, just I, you, Big Daddy Kane about it. Uh, yeah, yeah, being for real. That's, that's, that's how Big Daddy Kane was. was. No, I'm just yeah, telling you, Kane yeah, was the same way. But the listen to what you gonna say? He don't sound like nobody. Okay. And that's good. That's. The, that's the best thing any artist can say. Is you're, not your first, style, you're not the your first. You're not the first rap, uh, hip hop artist to say that though. Right. That's why it's like this. People laugh because it's a show, but it's true. A lot of your rappers and MCs choose not to listen to nobody's because they want to stand alone. Yeah. Yeah. I, not just because I want to, but just because to me it's like I don't be feeling it. Uh huh. Okay. Like, no more. Like I used to like Jay Z. Then now all he rap about is. Money and that's out of my league. You feel like ten million for the boat? I don't want to hit it. I don't yeah, got right. ten million for the yeah, boat. I, 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 I can't relate that. Right? I feel you. I feel you. I feel you. But anybody in your adolescent listen to him, like in your younger years, did you hear anybody back in the day? Jay Nas. Aaron I like it, Jay Z. I like it, but I'm saying I like the Hot Boys. Yeah, Hot Boys. Okay. I mean, it's what you like. We're interviewing you. But yeah, I really don't. So right now this is all about you. I feel I mean, like quite honestly too, dude, man. I mean, sometimes when you listen to your favorite artists, you, you find yourself sounding like them. So yeah, and I listen to them. I do listen to people like Yo Gotti or something. I feel like I'm better than them. Yeah, yeah you probably are. Because I'm saying like you know how they get like oh they probably live in the studio and he'll put out 17 songs. You only listen to three of them. Right. Yes, yeah, that's, that's true. Like, man, that's what true. is he on? That's true. He has to get that deadline. So whatever. Yeah, because he's you know he's on. He's got a job now. So like once you sign a contract, then you have a job. You're no longer rapping just to be rapping. Yeah, you have. Then you like you're right. You're obligated to your label. I'm like man, I got a deadline. Yeah. And I turn this album in. And they'll rush you. So, and some yeah, things may sound like the same. Yeah, they shouldn't have rushed him. They should have gave him a year off or something. They should rush him. <laughs> yeah, that happens. That happens. Yes. 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 Oh man. Okay. So yeah, uh, we look forward to listening to your music. Um, definitely get it to us so we can play it on the show. 
Clean versions, please. Yeah, I need it. Clean, clean, clean. Very so yeah, yeah, we'll definitely pump you up because we we all about the indie artists here, you know. Right. The East Social Show was introduced uh, to Samson through uh, Urban Grind TV. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 They support us for South by Southwest yes, this year's uh, Cross State Connection East Social Tour. We did a couple of cities, B Max yeah. and I, with uh, some other great Mike artists. Misfits. Right, right. Yeah, Jill more. C. Right, it was. I heard somewhere this was a reunion. Yeah, I said this is right. a reunion. CSC's tour reunion show, yeah. so to speak. Samson, what you got on uh, Urban Grind TV? What videos you got on? Uh, all my videos, really. Dang, oh, name them, name them. Shoot, uh, Gangsta Celebration. Okay. Woo! Uh, <laughs> Samson <laughs> time. I ganked it off. Shot me. Uh, I don't know. I can't Not name it so many though. I forget. Who shot the video? Oh yeah. yeah Urban Grass. Who shot the video? Urban Grass shot the video. Well, you know what? I haven't heard your music, but uh, if Urban Grass messing with you like that, then you're doing your thing. Cause they don't try. They don't mess with no, no right. subs. <laughs> like for real. Like that. That's I'm what's up. my people though. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's good, man. Yeah, that's just. Dope. We appreciate you coming up and uh, yeah. doing this for the show, man. It's big it's ups to you and uh. Yeah. This, much success to your future endeavors. I, yeah. I right on. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I think SP is going to go right. Yeah, I'm saying his brother out. Check him out. Instagram and Twitter right here. Yes. Yeah. We're going to come right into our next guest. And that he goes by uh, more. Uh, and he's now uh, with his crew, Watch City. Watch City. All the way from Belgium, y'all. Please join us on the couch, my brother. Need more, I got the dollars. Oh, okay. <laughs> hey, you know what? I got two of these joints. Get it, man. Yes. But we still gonna talk about this. I'm gonna put it right up there. This is a dope album, y'all. Yes, it is. No question. Very good. Yes. Yes. White man can't. White man can't rap. Love it. This is my man Moore. And to all of our listeners, y'all know he's one of our repeat guests. He came when we first kicked things yeah. off, so thanks you for know coming back, Moore. Sure. If I'm not mistaken, Moore was here the first time I came in and yeah. sat down. Yep. Yeah. I wasn't really officially on so the show yet, but the first time, time, time I yeah. came in, we came in together, bro. Yes, y'all yeah. did. And this man puts in work. Yes. Like, a lot of people thought he lived in Chicago because he was here <laughs> so much, but he lives in Elgin, so he puts in work. This is his, uh, can I call it a mixtape or album? Uh, it's an album, man. It's, it's an album. album. original material, so it's an album. White okay. Men Can't Rap. And if you don't understand the premise of it, based on the movie White Men Can't Jump, yeah. look at the cover. Cass is on there who does the beats. More is right there. Same font. There's a lot of little snippets from the movie White Men Can't Jump. Hilarious, but at very the same fair. time, a very dope project. Yes, very you know, entertaining. I, I bumps this. Appreciate it. Just shot the video. You. I'm just running down everything for you. Shot the video for you. Yeah, uh, let him talk to you. No. <laughs> yeah, okay. More, uh, we, didn't, we didn't ask you. I wanted to ask you when you was on the radio show. Who did the artwork? That's Kyle Cole. Watch that he's on Kyle Cole. He lives right down the block, Milwaukee in Central Park. <laughs> right on. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But yeah, uh, that's Kyle Cole. He does. He's got his own clothing line, Chippewa Chiefs. They do skateboards, t-shirts, hoodies. Uh, he does, for the most part, anything that you see that's not graphic design. If it's hand drawn, that's Kyle Cole. Anything you see for Watch City, our flyers, uh, logos, t-shirts, stickers, all that stuff. Okay. Right on, right so we're going to do a lot of reiteration. So what prompted you to do this type uh, album, this concept? Yeah, I had I had a lot of songs already written, mm -hmm. um, and I was kind of just trying to come up. I knew I wanted to put out a project. I didn't know, you know how I wanted to go about it. Uh, and I was sitting there trying to think of names and going through some songs, and White Man Can't Jump was on, I think it was TBS or something, and it was on the TV, and I was sitting there watching, and <laughs> it didn't... Maybe like halfway through the movie, it occurred to me I was like relating to to Billy Hoyle, the character right there. <laughs> oh, I was relating Billy. to him a lot, and I was like, all right, I think this is it. So uh, out of those, I had maybe like 16 songs at the time, and out of those, like only about three of them I think made it onto what became this album. But that's kind of okay. what what shaped it. Sitting there that day, and I was like, all right, so that's the direction it's gonna go. Oh, okay, cool. So, and that's yes. pretty, that's very creative. That's that's I like when when Thank people you. take thoughts like that and just. Transform it into something, and you went with a whole album, not just one song. So, yeah, more, I, 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 I never asked you this, but how long have you been rhyming, man? Um, 
<laughs> well, man, I've been, I've been, I've been writing. Long, huh? I've been writing for a long time, like since childhood. Uh, just doing like stories and okay. And, and, you know what I mean? Po- uh, not necessarily poetry, but I've been writing for a long time, and then I started playing the drums uh, yeah, when I was about 12. Yeah, you do play drums. And as far as, like, rapping to music, right. it didn't start when I was maybe, like, 15, 16, so that's about uh, seven, year. eight years now. <laughs> um, so I, it was, like, it was kind of just, like, freestyling, rapping, having fun. Um, and then as it progressed, I started to get a little better, and I started to think to myself, uh, maybe I could actually do something with this, say something with this, rather than just mess around and have fun when we're you know, it, partying or whatever. It, it seems like that, I mean, just out northwest suburbs with Watch City, it seems like y'all are just, y'all holding it down out there. Look, like, for real, like like Elgin is Watch City right that's, now. That's your spot. That's, that's, right. that's your spot. Like, was, how did, like, what prompted you, or how did the Watch City crew start? Because it's, it's a movement out there. Like you say Watch City and Elgin, people are like, yeah. <laughs> or, um, yeah, we came together at Dave Stone's house. Shout out Busy Buddy. Um, we pretty much got everybody together in Elgin that was doing anything within hip hop, whether it be like a graph writer, right. um, B boys, MCs, beat makers, whatever it was. We we all got together. It was like 25 people in a living room. Oh. Um, what? <laughs> yeah. And so, I mean, five. Watch City as of right now is like, what's that? SB? Five? You end up with five or six people? Yeah, we're, we're down to like, uh, you know what I mean? We got like six, seven core members. Yeah, right now. Bench, oh. uh, so, I mean, it was just, it was just that's how it started. Like, we were all doing our own things individually, and it was right. kind of like, well, coming from Algin, coming from the suburbs, we're not going to make any type of noise. Uh, Outside of the suburbs, in the city, nationally, internationally, whatever, and that's right. where we could all come together, mm. kind of do something collectively. So it kind of came around of the idea of like we could all do this on our own. We're all good enough to do this on our own, but in order to, uh, as progress. a city, progress together. Power in numbers. Right, exactly. Yeah. Power in numbers, and it kind of it went down from. 20 to 12 to 8 to 6. You know what I mean? It kind of just weaved itself out. Yeah, there. I mean, so but that's how you work find out who's, who's real and who's not. Right. right. You know, so. And more is the manifest. He uh, really is. Big ups to more. He gets, I, I try to emulate my idol, who is DeRoe, because DeRoe held the Chicago down. Big up DeRoe. And in the lights of uh, DeRoe, so much more, who was introduced to uh Amina and Chris, right. urbanized big music. Urbanized music, music as well. big up urbanized. He offered us when we were doing e social at Dark Room to come out to Elgin and he showed his growth. Like yeah. man, I mean I, the tours, you. the service, he offered Chicago uh, and Elgin as our home and, and I like to do the same thing. Yeah. More, more yeah. when you're when you're doing your sets yeah. in Elgin, do you guys uh, play live instruments when you sometimes yeah. Um, there's been a few shows where uh, we got a band Boniface Shout out to you for watching. What's up, man? <laughs> um, so we've done a few shows with Boniface out of Elgin. Uh, I play the drums, so every once in a while I get on the kit, depending on, you know what I mean? Sometimes it's not convenient to bring it, but. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I'm, I'm getting out there. I'm going to get out there. I want to. At Abbey Pub, I saw you MC, oh, and then I saw you get behind the drums. I was like, what? Wow. It just kind of adds a little bit uh, to oh, the yeah. performance sometimes, I think. It's called flavor. You know what I mean? That's through, what we uh, call it. Yeah, so speaking, a white man can play drums too. <laughs> yeah, speaking of, of uh, convenience, the only His drummer was white. Uh, <laughs> right. <laughs> exactly. Right. Hey, so we have a section was white. That's the only reason I, I haven't got out to Elgin more because I just don't have a car. <laughs> hey, but, Milwaukee West Line from the Metro Rail, you can take it right to the guy. Man, I, like, I, 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 I go to West Wisconsin at, at midnight. <laughs> <laughs> I pass by Elgin a lot going to Wisconsin because I take the family out to Wisconsin a lot for stuff. So I'm like, kids, this is Elgin right here. So I know where you're going to be. I got you. I got you. We're right out there. We got to make it happen. As we, as we build. So there's a, uh, we'll put us on the show. The reason is uh, November 30th. November 30th. Yeah, well, that's you. Yeah. Yeah. you got, hey, we'll do a little endangered species set if you guys can make it out on November 30th. Oh, oh, we'll, we'll, that's we'll, breaking we'll, news. Okay. Maybe. Yeah. 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 See what happens. Yeah. 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 See what happens when you come. Yeah. Yeah. Well, just like our uh, uh, microphone misfits, Watch City is part of our core of the cross state connection as True. Kansas City, Detroit, Milwaukee, Atlanta. We have branches that help artists. 
expand their brand. And this thing that is a cultural artist thing, not just hip hop music, but hip hop the lifestyle. You know what I'm saying? Something as Bumpy Nuck said, you can share with your wife and your children, and and your and your and your, and your spouse or your siblings won't think that you're being a clown about. Right. So, right. you know, we took a risk. Uh, many a times we had great times. We saw great things. <laughs> Iowa State. Other, we've been to many places. People fall out of vans. Right, right. <laughs> People can't hold their bladder. <laughs> can't hold their bladder. You know, <laughs> trying to get a good battle the road. Right. <laughs> 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 oh, 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 yeah, yeah, and Mama Jamma's on the road. Mama all Jamma. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mama Jamma. Mama Jamma. Heard y'all get into a couple of young punks and some of the young punks. Young punks. Young punks. Young punks. I thought we were the young punks. You are the official young punks. I have to leak you with Oh, By the way, you guys should watch City. That's the crew. In case you didn't get it by now, Watch City's the crew out of Elgin, Illinois. What's, right your, Twitter? What's your Twitter? What's your Twitter? All right. What's your uh, you can follow Watch City at Watch City 847. You can follow me at more, M O O R E W C. What? Are you going to write something wrong? Yeah, I got a couple songs. I got a couple songs. Oh, we got a couple Let's do this then. Let's do this. stand up off the couch. Yeah, I would uh, prefer if you. Kind of rock, hard working man too. By the way, uh, <laughs> yeah, so yeah, you shot the video. That Sorry. video's going. I can't wait to see the video. Oh, hard working oh, man oh, video. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, easy money. We'll do easy money first. Uh, easy money. This one, uh, I shot a video for it. I kind of scrapped it. We're gonna rework it. Do a little bit more footage. Yeah, I'll see coming out on the Ah, uh, this one's I about the other thing, but we'll do this. Just the best of the year. I dropped this right here. Hey, all like five million here in the studio audience. What's up? I am African Party because it's North American Part 4. I am everything in war. I am a fish in the tour. I am reward for all the time spent. I'm the same with a rational mindset. I'm conscious. I drink till I black out. I'm safe sex. I never pull a strap out. A lyrical genius, but I don't know what to rap out. I know it all. I'm trying to figure this rap out. I'll never get it. I don't know where I'm going. I'm working hard to progress. I'm hoping that it's showing. My girl tell me she got me. I tell her that I know it, but even if she didn't, I'd be alright, cause I'm blowing. Oh. What up, Keep Four Watch City in the building? Shout out, Beef Bad, SB1, Sun Star, and whatever, James Casey. Alright, let's go, what up? Cause I ain't body ever did. Yeah, shout out to Mike Pro Misfits. I'll tell you a little bit more. Look, I am the four elements. I am 59, no elements. My mindset's celibate. I don't give a I keep it clean. Up like a rabbit against drugs with a bad marijuana habit. I gotta have it. I'm not materialistic. I'm real calm. I'm about to go ballistic. I'm mystic. I'm common. I'm comedy. I'm drama. I'm against government. I got love for Obama. I'm contradicting. Everything I say is real. I'm entertainment. Exactly how I feel. I am summertime blind. One of those days I am smoking that is live from the back cave. I am Watch City. Give me everything and more. I am sitting at home. I am going on tour. I am the jam man. I am the open door. I am the open mind. And you the open yours. Uh, uh. All right, now everybody in here, this is where you let them know that we're all in here. We'll make a whole lot of noise. Yeah, yeah. Why is that? That's because I am body every day. Yeah, yeah. All right. So let's just pretend we're at the garden, right? Look. When I say I am body, y'all say everything. I am body. Everything. I am body. Everything. When I say I am body, be back. Everything. I am body. Everything. I am body. Everything. Yeah, that's all it's called. I am body. Everything. Produced by Kaz. That video came out a few months back. Special assistance for be back. What? I got one more. It's called Easy Money. Uh, this one was produced by Cool Out Chris, <laughs> Urbanized Music. I got a video coming for this soon. Remix coming from GLC. Yeah. Yo, yeah, yeah. I got with money. Look, more problems. Breakfast is scared because I hit it with no condom. My voices were not fire me and this with the economy. I was back to selling trees and cops catching on to me. I see them posted up in the driveway. All my cars pulling me over on the highway. I hate it. We go hard getting in my car braiders since we're not talking like that. Radios like wild players, huh? I'll tell you why. I need an easy buck. You for no other reason. So me, so she won't let me. Cause in God we trust. But it's either we forsaken. Us is getting killed for us. 
with the skin naked, where it's trying to make it, in the country where the government provides you comfort through a smallpox blanket, yeah, I'm talking about the past, but nothing's changed, I ain't saying that the scheme is but I better put it past them. I grew up in about the middle class run. Now I'm saving quarters with my gas run. Being head stuck, it's a pay and bill. Nope. And nowadays, making money on rap poverty got skills. My man Kenny about to make it out the back wheel. Jeremy, you oh, okay. trying to deal. I wanna know how that feels. And I ain't trying to stack bills. I just need enough to eat another meal and pay the gas bill. What's up, all you on YouTube? I know you need some easy money. Yeah. Microphone mistress was good. I'm so tired of all these man. Dead end jobs and overdue fees. I should have been a rapper, not an MC. Walking from the venue with my pockets empty. I'm wondering why I'm someone that the average person empties. My boss grabs a bench key right before she steals my tip money. Man, I'm about to get money. I'm feeling come up, coming up quick. Put up, put up, bitch. Ready to get in my pockets lit like a who's unfit for. Hood, but she's raw anyway. I can't afford sushi. I hit a raw anyway. Probably write about as much as Ernest Hemingway. Cause someone introduced me to a puppet should have give me pain. I'm tired of wearing the same attire every day. Got fire, so my ties, I'll take the train. Lord, please make it rain, cause I'm in the drought. No excuse for being thirsty, though, cause we can wake it out. I don't know what it's about. I never tried that. I was busy learning poly with them so high hats. Like what men is when asking me where my mind's at. I tell them I'll let them know once I find that. What up, cool out? Cash, shots to everybody watching. Appreciate y'all. That was the first time doing that was censored. What? So I kind of like. Space battles up there, but it was cool. Thank you, CSC, for all your time. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> e event social. Lovely to Good see you again, boy. Watch City, y'all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Watch City. That's Watch City 847. You can find me on Instagram, more M O O M O O R E Watch City. Uh, Twitter, more W C. Just Google it. Watch City 847. It's delayed. It's delayed. It's delayed. So, yo, we we tripping because SP1 texted us the link, right? So, we popped So, I posted it on Facebook and I'm like, yo, B-Bags, wait a minute. This is the last thing I posted. Can you click it so we can see ourselves? I guess we can see ourselves. Tripping like we've never seen. Ourselves on TV or no we look like so <laughs> but it's, kids right it's now. really Sorry. dope. It's live yeah, in progress dope. right now. You ever see the movie They Live? Yes. With the glasses on, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's what it is right now. The movie with the longest fight, the longest fight ever. ever. Roddy Piper and, and, and Big up to SP1 for texting me that link though. Woo! We can watch ourselves. Big to SP for uh, everything. I'm big up to big up You know what? We have to big up because sometimes he's such a mastermind yeah. and we just be like, what are you doing? Huh, huh? But this was his whole idea. Well, we take advantage of Thank SP you to Q4 so. with Jason's tech. See, you don't even want John's. So yes, uh, of course. And Anna Mira helping bring no us question. in. Yes. My man, uh, Jason. And Jason, right, right. That's you. Uh, uh, Chino, who uh, uh, helped Jason accept my idea about adding uh e social to yes. the show. Now next yeah. time we want to big up you and give you props, awesome. take it. Let's keep keep going. Take it. We we yeah, moving. Yeah, let's keep it moving. Keep it moving. So who we got? What but, we talking about? Do me a favor before we introduce our last act, which is clearly our last act, and in our in our show, can y'all do a freestyle of over your head? That's the only song I know all three of you all are on. Uh, no, I'm, I'm not, not a part of over your head. What are you on? What are you on, sir? Right. <laughs> and you should know what I'm on. We don't have to know your girl. We got, we got beats for it. I mean, you know what? Natural girl. I would, Natural I would girl. ask for No, I'd rather right. have my guest do something I try. Than, than have us do something. Yeah, we'll try something. Yeah, because yeah. we asked them to come down. Let them yes, 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 yes. But yes. we will work the next show. We will work we out sure something will. real special and real on point and throw it down for everybody. But thank you, SP1, for requesting that. But let's, yeah, let's showcase. Let's get these dudes on the couch. Yeah. <laughs> Coming up to the couch next. Two of my favorite cats. Yeah, nice little duo call. Oh, yeah. The highest low. The high red low. Join us on the couch, gentlemen. The nice. Yeah, boy. 
Yeah, and you can start introducing yourself. All right, all right, my name is Justin. Nice to meet you. Justin, yeah. nice, nice to meet you, you Justin. Sorry, Justin. Sorry. 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 Uh, we met. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Wonderful. I met. They don't remember when I met them. I met them at uh, was it Hot Waffle Fest? I remember definitely. They meet a lot of people hollering at us. Snotty. Yeah, you probably don't remember me. Yeah. Yo. Yeah, you remember? Yeah. I, I remember that night. Yeah, yeah, you remember? <laughs> uh, briefly, mid moments of that night, right? Uh, yeah, we met at that Waffle Festival. Definitely. So, yeah, high and slow in the building. It's a pleasure to have y'all here. here. Man, man, y'all, I mean, you know, we've been doing this for a minute now. Waffle yeah, Gang yeah. stuff and yeah. this stuff. And and y'all, uh, y'all have been hitting the road hard. Yeah. People are like, Max, you are always on the road. I'm like, no. These cats <laughs> right here are uh, hitting the road. Where, where have y'all been at as of late? Out of Chicago. Well, like, um, we've been hitting South Bend, Indiana pretty heavy. Right. Because uh, our homies, uh, the beat, they bring us out there a lot. And uh, shout out to Moore for bringing us out to Elgin last year. Yeah, yeah, that was dope. Uh, you know, I, was just out, uh, I was just out in uh, L.A. and in Arizona like two weeks ago doing a couple shows out there. Okay. Real dope. Dope. Okay. Real dope. Awesome. Well, we coming back to uh, Lexington, Kentucky, like, that was really dope out there. Like, they showed me. It's low-key spots. It's always the, the spots. Don't you love that, man? Yeah. Where they, so they have thirsty for hip hop. Oh, y'all can really put on a real nice show right there. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Yeah, so how are things working out for you, Snotty, man? Because I heard you just, you uh went ahead and became a real man. and. And got married. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, got married. Oh, oh. Oh, like on the sneak tip, it was just like, yeah, nice day. Oh, by the way, I'm married. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, I'm a. Uh, I, I guess um, everything's cool. Everything's good. You know, I'm happy. That's you know, dope. That's what it's, that's what it's about. Like, and your wife's a yeah, it'd have been bad if you oh, yeah. came on here and said, yeah, marriage sucks. Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad you said that. Yeah, 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 <laughs> hey, the wedding, the wedding was nerve wracking. I was like, I was the best man in the wedding, and I was like, I had to hand him the ring. And I was like, oh, shit, shit I better shit, not slip shit. up and drop this shit. Bro. Like, you just slipped up and tore oh, some shit. I'm already <laughs> coordinated and shit. It's over. You don't have to be nervous it's anymore. Up. Just, yeah. Yeah, keep, yeah. keep this G rated, though, because I'm oh, watching you. I, I got you. I, right. I know how to speak. I, but, yeah, 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 I, I know you do. He was doing the, um, the, uh, the, the speech, you know, and I was, me and my wife were like, man, Please don't cuss, please don't cuss. Ah, <laughs> Mr. Potty, don't I didn't cuss. I didn't cuss. I did not. You pulled it off. Well, I got I got whenever the tables turn, if that ever happens, you know, I'm going to really have a tough time doing that. Yeah. <laughs> you know me. Uh, <laughs> I do know your wife, and you're going to have to explain that, like, big time. So that's crazy. So, so go ahead, that's good. Yeah, yeah. Well, well, I, I'm just going to ask just, just, <laughs> just basic stuff. So how long you cats been uh, rocking together? About eight years, eight years. Yeah, and like eight years. Uh, fresh out of high school and Work. stuff, you know. Yeah. So I met him uh, battling in high school. I'm I'm from Aurora, and uh, he suburbs in the house. The yeah. yes. and you know what? Like, like it's funny. It's funny. Like because Aurora is like the second largest city in the state, and like right. It's, Chicago, I'm from the south side. I'm from 88th and Bishop. I went to St. Savannah when I was a shorty. Wow. And, and I moved to Aurora, and it was a very... I thought it was going to be super soft, but in the 90s, it was kind of wild. Yeah, you know what? I didn't hear about Aurora. It wasn't like... It wasn't like... Bang, banging back then. Yeah, I heard some stories coming out of Aurora back in the day. But it wasn't 88th and Bishop. But I mean... It is what it is, but like I always, we always, I met him out there. We was like, man, we can't really do nothing out here. Like they're not doing no real shows. We knew a cat maker that works with Quote. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maker. and he's from there. And we did an album. Maker from Aurora? Yeah, he is. We did an album. Yeah. We did an album oh, maker. It's called It's called Insomnia. Yes. It's called okay. Insomnia. You can download that on our. Bandcamp, camp the highest low dot band camp yeah, dot com. Yeah, yeah. straight to uh, highest low music dot com. It's yeah, on there. One, it's one, one of others. Okay. Uh, Speaking of that, when is the new album coming out? Uh, we're December doing the, 13th. Is it the, the the thirteenth will be the the release party. I, I think we haven't decided if we're gonna release it like the week before or do so the twelve whole thirteen. Thing. If party. people came yeah, out the twelve thirteen, and yeah, right. Right. Well, yeah. and it's super dope. I would say I know it's I'm super very dope. proud. I'm very proud of it. It took like two and a half years, and I'm, like we've been touring, and we're 
we're part of a, a crew now that's like a um, like a, a cross state crew called Honor Roll Gang. And still, right, shouts right. out to, to to Waffle Gang because at one point we, you know, what I'm saying we was definitely having. We all got down with Waffle yeah, Gang. We, we, right we did, we did, we did. But Honor Roll Gang, it's just like a group of cats. Like we got cats in Arizona and L. A. and I Texas. That. That's a dope concept. And, and that is so we just concept. trying yeah. to keep it. The same thing y'all doing with cross state connection. You know what I'm saying? Right, just right. making making sure the map looks small. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Nothing's too far. Oh, man, dude. Oh, <laughs> uh, maybe. Austin. We we Texas. drove. Yeah. No, we, we drove. We, I seen him. I seen him at South by Southwest. We're at South by Southwest. I'm like, what? The? 18 hours drive. <laughs> what is he 18 doing? 18 hours. Oh, drive. trust me. We oh, know about the drive. Then we went to St. Louis. Then we went to St. Louis. Oklahoma. Yeah, we're in Texas. You in the town? We lost the truck. So. The man, our drive was quite. We good. was in a crossover <laughs> utility vehicle. It wasn't even an SUV. Wow. It's us. It's us and four other people. It's got a third row, but it's not really a third row. No. It's we like, called it death row. <laughs> <laughs> I was too solid. I was too solid. I'm like, I'm gonna have to get back there. I'm gonna drive. I have my backpack. I have my backpack right here. It was my yeah, side of life. I definitely want to go back to South by South. Memory to them. But I'm definitely looking <laughs> yes, at a plane. I'll right. take the most bootleg airplane ever before I drive back. Yeah, yeah. I'll be on yeah. Spirit Airlines. Yeah, yeah. With a rubber band. I'll get behind car. somebody else's car or something with rollerblades before I try to drive <laughs> that far. Okay, so we got a few minutes left because we definitely want y'all to rock, but just quick influences because y'all got them. And just real quick. I'm happy to see a duo. Like you don't yes. see a lot of duos, and you don't True. see Troy like yes. Fife and Q-Tip Run and D. You don't see that a lot. And two guys bounce on each other. EPMD. EPMD. That's dope. Yeah. So yeah. influences. We got the same influences, so it doesn't really matter what I say. Wu Tang Clan, Day Soul, Drop Call, Quest. All of all of mine. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nigga Wu Clan is very brand new. Man, come on, man. Stay over here. Right. Nas, oh yeah, Common. Yeah. You know, like the thing with Common, like my pops told me, used to see Common in like my old neighborhood in Burner Park. He used to just see Common, like they call him Lonnie, like hey, right. like, yeah. So, right. so I mean, I wasn't old enough to remember that, but just him telling me stuff like that, I was oh, yeah. like, yeah, we could do this, man. It's possible, right? Oh yeah, I live down the street from. Him. We call yeah. him Rashid. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so I, I, I used to see him all the time. Yeah. That's good. That's, Made you feel like you were somebody. Yeah, but, but I'm not. I know I'm not yet. I'm working towards that. But uh, yeah, of course. You are somebody. You are somebody. Of course. Exactly. So what are y'all performing? Uh, well, we're gonna hit it first with uh, what is joint called Boom Bap, uh, Ooh, from yes. our last project produced by Maker. Yeah. Uh, oh, and good. then the next joint is called Angel Wings, which will be off the next project entitled The Bootleg Session. And the last mm-hmm. project was called Insomnia. You can download those both on highslow.bandcamp.com or highslowism.com. Shameless plug. Let's uh, not waste time. Let's yeah, go so ahead and rock it. Hey, once again, we got the highest low. We are on E Event Social, Q4 Radio. Here we come, y'all. I hope we come. And keep it clean. Here we come, y'all. <laughs> Here we come. Thank you, big play. Here we come, y'all. Here we come. Thank you, big play. <laughs> now, when I come, I like to clean. No. Word. Yeah. Yeah. If you're looking for some hot, sh- I got that. Oh, boy, I refuse to make those hot tracks. These cats front, I like they hard. And they got that. I get it going all I need. It's, it's a boom bap. Who wants that? You won't come in for your spot. Yeah, it's all cool. I refuse to make a pop trap. These cats front, I like they hard. And they not that. I get it going all I need. It's a boom It's time for us to make noise because y'all quiet as nuns. And so I grab the rhythm like my tongue was tied to the drum. And elevate until I can find my place in the sun to shine heavenly through melodies created with some true talents that I'm ranting about busting my good. Bragging about some petty stuff I might have did when I was young. No, I'm older. Carry you just wait up on my shoulders to my back aches and can't handle it any longer. Using beat breaks to paint the struggles that I've conquered. Conquered? Wisdom, the monster who preys upon the weak. And seen unleash set free from the belly of the beast. Cause it's rap propaganda like that boy sheep with their frail compositions in their way school beats. Never live what they speak about. Life in the streets. Man, all of these massages must come to a cease. Peace. Yeah. If you look for some hot, I got that. Hardcore, I refuse to make a fly track. These cats from on my face. I get it, but when all I need is a boom zap. 
Who walks out? Yo, I'm coming for your side rap. It's all cool. I'm a few that make up our trap. These cats front all like they hard. When they got that, I get it so when all I need is a full trap. But we took pizza to the air. Kicks in the snare. Hitting at the place all over fellow no instruments. At the sound, at those like the rhino all limited. Who right. the full of black doing it? I try kicking it. We don't only just push them to the straight spitting it. Express can get some of those levels up. I should have been. I want to make sure they get nothing but the pure, uncut, and like sex without protection. Verbally venomous, get the lethal injection. In the lab with the freshman exec, we were in question. Take a deep breath, face the flow, so my question. No answer needed, that's a rhetorical question. Never to be shot to kick the rhyme in any direction. You want some live in, go the opposite direction. Cause I'm an MC, and hip hop is my profession. And it's no to your eyeball collection. If you're looking for some high bitch, I got that. Hardcore, I refuse to make a lot track. These cats front on like they hard. Oh, I get it going, all I need is a whole pack. Who wants that? You won't come up for your spot. Yeah, it's all cool. I refuse to make a lot track. These cats front on like they hard. I get it going, all I need is a whole pack. I can kick a rhyme over ill drum roll. Yes, sir. I can kick a rhyme over ill drum roll with the kick. I said, I kick the high hat. Skilled in a trade, I don't go back. It's like that. That's all, 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 that's Hold up, cause it ain't all about the reef of your mind, they made was gonna be for just was the Mr. The teacher, but the way they're underground, not the underachiever, 100 miles, and whatever, I ain't run up from that money, run into the money, say, creeping on up from my brother, send up to the sun, up, my wings are shining, this number number one, hit her tongue, like the table wire, right something, cleaving, cleaving, you gon' see me come down, yeah. my can't just leave it, so my angel plays, my can't just leave it, so my angel plays, my can't just leave it, so my angel my ain't too clean. Oh, Jimmy. I got like this in a trick. Rockin' that reach is clean, man. Do my ain't too clean. Rockin' that reach is clean, man. Do my ain't too clean. Rockin' that reach is clean, man. Do my ain't too clean. Oh, Jimmy. I got like this in a trick. Okay, okay, put all your daddy yakin'. Robots is rockin' out, so please just shut your tap for attack it. As we never take this thing with this spectacular answer for all the fly people not to let crack it. So, in here, cause I mean, I might have had what? But what's that got to do with rapping? They trick and preach and I'm trapping. I'm back to his world like, what's that? Wants some satisfaction. We laugh in the past. Back in the back in the back. Back in the back. Up, man, it's looking for laughing. The only damage on the image. No, they play me. Ain't with it. Say any chicken flipping. When you ain't getting no business. Boy, I quit it. Get your game right. Get your game charged. On a higher level, we all out on the same vibe. You buy that coach, but you need a little coaching. Get the pen and the vibe. We all get it. Broken. Check the wig spin and the focus. Angelic hater rebelling. Now get us off the side. Rockin' that reason to leave it. So my ain't too drunk. Rockin' that reason to leave it. So my ain't too drunk. Rockin' that reason to leave it. So my ain't too drunk. I ain't seen me. I can't like this in a kick. I can't ever just leave it. So my angel wings. I can't ever just leave it. I can't ever just leave it. So my angel wings. I can't ever just leave it. So my angel wings. I can't like this in a kick. Super slide, slick talk. 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 Super slide, slick
We get an hour. I can't make it well. It ain't a hard as hell. I don't plenty of pennies and many wishes. But still, we on the move. Mom may not keep it real. You can't expect anything to happen while sitting still. You see me riding. Wisdom and life is speakers knocking. But when I do, you know what's up, boom, dear. You see me riding in the sky, but ain't no way behind them. They try to fuck them down. I work to the touch of the ground. You know the way it sounds. We are some other bitch. Boys put his boy in the mother ship. The book is just like flow. I'm on the comic job. But who he book he saves me? Nope, not at all. Yeah. Rockin' that reason to play, man. Don't my angel play. Rockin' that reason to play, man. Don't my angel play. Rockin' that reason to play, man. Don't my angel play. Yeah. See me. I got like they see the kids. and yes, I know when you see them girls, girl, I'll make you drive slow, drive slow, drive slow. When you see them girls, girl, I'll make you drive slow, drive slow, drive slow, drive slow. Who am I? Who are we? Who is this high low? My name is Just Wise, and that's Snake Pippin. Thank you for your time. Wow. Yeah, can y'all get that angel wings to our show so we can play that? I love oh, that. Yeah, we need to put yeah, that. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Lovely meeting y'all. We want to interview y'all on the radio show. Yes, yeah, so we gotta come back. Yes, to the yes, show yes, too. yes. Check them out. Check them out. We will set that up real soon, alright, folks. You guys are watching the E Event Social, <laughs> the Q4. <laughs> yeah, we got like four minutes left. Four? Is it really four? Yeah, it's fifty-six right now. I don't want to talk about. Walking Dead. Uh, 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 we missed Walking Dead. We did not see Walking Dead today because we were here. Thank all of our guests. I'm upset about this. It was your first. That was my first. <laughs> Are we doing this? He, want, he <laughs> wants to do it. We can do it. I'll do it. No, we yeah, can talk it. We can catch it on Wednesdays at this 8 p.m. We're going to thank the guests. We want to thank everybody. Yes, we got to. Microphone yes, business. Microphone business. Damn, business. Damn, all right. Right. Thank you guys Literally. for rocking the house. G-Nick. We also want to thank Samson. Right on. Yes. For coming in. And Kim Retro. Kim Retro for coming in. Yes. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yes. And last but not least, the highest low. You got to remember the poet, the first person to show up to this show. I'm sorry, I did forget that. He was like our first supporter. He bounced That's out. Right. I forgot the brother name. The roster. His Marcus. name is Marcus. Marcus. Thank you for the peace, Marcus. Let him off the hook Thank you, Q4 Radio, for having us for the live. But all you first. other people that left early, y'all need to learn hip hop etiquette. Don't leave early because you want people to watch you and pay attention. And then you say your thing, uh -oh. and you leave. Not cool. Uh -oh. Not cool. Not cool. I'm just letting them know. I mean, they know because they're all seasoned vets over here. So they got say. Next going on. <laughs> well, I'm next going on. Uh, let me let me look at my calendar. Steph. Yeah, I mean, so pretty much y'all can catch us 8 p.m. to 11 p.m. here at Q4 Radio oh, every Wednesday. It's all talk, talking tunes across the board. We're going to be playing some indie music. Artists, artists, please. We have an artist spotlight segment. Please send your music in. Contact myself, my brother to my left, the writer, SP1. Right. Get your music played on the radio. We email playing what address. we like. No it's for us, by us. The email address. Well, pretty much right now, you can send it to my email address. And if you are, if you want to inquire about that, just hit me up on Twitter or Facebook. I'm, Pretty much, um, just let us know. You gotta have clean music, though. Yeah, you can't hit us on Facebook. Yeah, hit us on Facebook. Keep the music clean, cause this is a family-oriented show, and we want to expose you and put your brand out there. So. Right on, and that's every Wednesday from 8 p.m. to yes. 11 p.m. Yes. Tonight was a special treat. We filmed everything. Looking Better forward to doing this again. Yeah. Perform very exciting. Yes. And uh, we will have something special from us. Right. To perform. On the next show, <laughs> and you know, and next up, I'm uh, I'm at Hello Hip Hop. Okay. Uh, the 606 anniversary is coming up with uh, Sub T. 15 that's years. 15 years. 15 years. Of rocking. Sub T. That's uh, November 26th. I'll be performing there, as well as the show with Six Rings Entertainment. But that's in December. So y'all pick up B Boy Summer. I just put this out. Get it. 
There's the remix on yeah. there with my man Ella. Yes. We worked the cool latest pieces. We also working on something new. We're gonna make Steph start do something with us as well. She gonna do y'all pick up actually a lot. house joint. She does house too. Yeah. So her and You'll hear about me later. I'm more I'm, I'm more laid back right now. I'm recording. Yeah. We're doing a lot of recording right now, so MSP yeah. will be at Navy <laughs> Pier for Billy Goat Fun on the ninth. And yes. free party at Navy Pier for the fall season with Navy Pier. So uh keep it going. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's it. When yeah, is it? It's it's now y'all wanna get to y'all wanna get to Get to work. Get to work. Y'all got two minutes. Hey, we, 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 Good night, <laughs> everybody. <laughs> Good night, y'all. Appreciate y'all. Please check us out. To practice, I'm your girl, Steph Stop. Elevation to Ellis. Be back. That's SP1. We'll talk to y'all Wednesday. Peace. 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 Oh. Yeah. 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 That's all right. Good time. Sign on mic. Good time. He's the old man. Thanks, everybody. We appreciate it. Thank you. Yo, yo. Wouldn't have been a show without any of you. Oh, sorry. Koji Soulstar couldn't make it either. He was sick. But I guess that worked out. Yeah. Nice work, gentlemen. Thank you. The camera off. Thank you. I was fucking because I was like, look. I looked at the link and then I see it up. I was like, wait a minute. Yeah, I'm going to show you. Oh, they know they just. Are, are we off the air? Can I talk shit on my phone? I'm going to ride the people get the bad. We're still there. Stop. 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 I love fucking uh, saying cuss words because no fucking We don't get fucked. Hey, you throw a motherfucker in the seat and say, no, you real. Hey, I'm going to need you to stop all that fucking cuss. See? See? Somebody sit next to you, give you a crazy look, and you tell them, hey, okay, motherfucker. They know to take you seriously. Hey, motherfucker. You saw all that fucking cuss. You play a basketball. Shit. Hey. Hey. <laughs> you have to be like, okay. Yeah, I dare you to say something. 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 Monday through Friday, 2 to 4 p.m. here on Q4 Radio, AM 1710. Check me out. Listen to this. Yeah! I don't know. I'm trying to do a start. Meshing our show. All right. It's our one station, right? I mean, that's what y'all should That's all habit. I was introduced to him today, SP1. This is my uh, host. Uh, 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 this elevation, be back. So I went in the room. They handled the show for me. How you doing? Great West. Who's that? Chicago Oh, that's Chicago State. Okay. I didn't know that. Wow. Um, it's very teaching good. political science, and then 
I kind of called him out on it. What part of political science did you suggest overall? No, I did like political philosophy. So I actually taught him like blacks on the left. I taught black empowerment and stuff like that. So I kind of called him out on it. Saying, you want to hire me because I'm white. And you want to start a black college. To show diversity. Because I knew the guy who he also talked to, he was way more qualified than I I appreciate the hire. Right, but. But it just sucks to feel that you're being used. I left it. After like less than a year, I was like, wow, I'm done. Right, because you knew what it was. You know, they'll say, you know, you have to write articles. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, I'm like, you know who I was from the beginning. I do my thing. Right. I write for certain people. I don't write for just specific things. Right, right. That's what we do. Sometimes poetry. So sometimes novels. Sometimes novels, which means you have more than one book that you're writing. I'm actually writing two. There you go. <laughs> my memoir and one called Voices on the Southland, where I'm taking pictures of people on the South Side and like writing their little narrative. That's cool. That's cool. The South Side means that you are doing the top 25 list. Okay. Where you, did you hear that? I heard a little bit of it. Like, you know, it was top 35. And one of the one of the things on the list was people who don't know shit about the South Side. Right. And you hear horror, horror stories about the South Side, but if you don't go out there, you don't know shit about the South Side. So that's good that you're doing that. You know, exposure. Sure it's, it's only just people who like, like are little things. Then I see them and I'm like, Person I know who has like a little art gallery on Dorchester. That type of thing. It's like their house and their garage is the art gallery. That's cool. You know, things like that, like things you don't hear about. Um, but even like someone I know on 95th and MLK, they've been evicted like five times. Yeah, they're in the spot. Right. What? I thought he was all right. Wow. So they like, they'll literally move out. Later on the night, they'll move their shit back in at night. And squat. Well, the landlord obviously got to stay on premises. Right. I've always had that issue. You hold feet up? I need to find somewhere where landlords stay on premises so I can get my squat on. And a lot of people don't even know about squatters. Oh, that's going to work tomorrow. I'm loving you for that. I didn't do it. Look, I got to go too. You know what? I got vacation days. I'm calling in sick tomorrow morning. <laughs> Take a bus and I, I'll, I'll be there too. I, I got business going. Yeah. This was this was fun, Sam. Thank you. I, I try. I love your shirt, man. Can I have your shirt? I'll trade your shirt. This is from Dr. Uman's. Yes, man. I'm mad I missed that yesterday. Yeah, man. I was, I was thinking he was gonna be here. Today. He was supposed to. Uh, he was at Castle Spot, so you know Castle is oh, gonna let him go. Yeah. And that we had that conversation. He was like, I could do both. Like, once Cass, now I don't even know if Castle does it intentionally, but he, if he knows you're doing something against his thread, he throws the monkey wrench in it. And I was trying to yeah. explain that to Uma without him being kind of like. <laughs> Like thinking, I was thinking less of Cassie because I respect him. <laughs> right. I just don't honor him, and that's two different levels. Yeah, that's two different levels. So, um, on my cards, my email address. Right. Email me any of the artists you have, right? Because right. I can play them during my breaks. The band and everything. We got to do our. Uh, and so, if you guys want, I I, I don't perform anymore. Um, I'd be more than happy to be on the show. I talk about I do like a little thing about punk and hip hop, how they're one and the same. We don't just do hip hop; it's just hip hop acts. No, more and that's fine. Exciting. But I mean, I, I actually was up in Milwaukee with the Hip Hop Congress. Ah, uh, me too. Uh, uh, Sh Sh Shamako Noble. Yeah, he's Shemako. a good friend of mine. Shamako. Yeah, we all be Hip Hop Congress. That's oh, you yeah. like that? Yeah, he's a good friend of mine. Word. That's what's up. Um, because last time he was in Chicago, um, I'm to shoot. Nope. yeah, I was up in Milwaukee. <laughs> right. I'm like, really? We did a talk. I remember that since like third grade. Really? I do uh, yeah, hip hop uh, uh, congress in, uh, in Milwaukee. Uh, Milwaukee uh, is Fiery uh, Phoenix and uh, <laughs> I can't even think of that. Group. <laughs> and you were both. Uh, but yeah, yeah, so same thing. Detroit, yeah. Just like uh, the Kansas City. Like that's what the cross state connection was all about. Right. It, 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 it was formed through. <laughs> 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 but 
know, you know, about Congress is more than an opportunity <laughs> than it was sort of opening oh, up the form for the thirst for that you being about right. right there. And that's when Shamat feels right. like, <laughs> like <laughs> that was a wrong That's true. I opened it up saying, you don't understand, like, people forget punk bands and hip-hop bands from the Bronx. Independent. Formed each other. I remember, That's like, correct. the Beastie Boys. Yep. In the Great Dookie Puss class. was, like, their first single. <laughs> this, is all, this is all you have to say is that Blondie. Right. That he took it. And, 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 and success of even Crucial Conflict from Chicago wouldn't have it. Five Five Freddy wouldn't have had such success. With rapture, yeah, yeah right. exactly. Yeah, we could go on and on about the, the connections and, and blends. Of yeah, that. because it, it was pretty much the same motif. Like hip hop kids and punk acts. kids right. couldn't get into the, the discos back then, so they were like, "Fuck y'all," and they all got together and did their own shit. more. I used to have a punk band, and me and my friend who had a hip hop group. Okay. Um, our second album, we did like old school punk. And then my friend did like Grandmaster Flash stuff, so he like opened it up with like. I like hip hop was breaks of rock. And exactly. So, yeah. Right. So, Billy Squire so, shit. So when my friend was doing turntables, cuts, right. I was doing all my guttural <laughs> guitars and everything, yeah. and let's like say, shut the police. Yeah, dude. That's when music. So rage was against the machine type shit. Yeah. We were pre. Right. We went to Tom's concerts. Y'all been in South Bend. That's cool. Yeah, Billy Corgan's concert. We was in Oak Grove. Yeah, you know it was called Board of Governors. Yeah. Middle of nowhere. Little deeper than Indiana. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Real basic. Yeah. 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 Y
Uh, a couple hundred. I want to say he said a small fee at the most. I think he's talking about five hundred. We've been so busy, I haven't had a chance to actually even consider it. So, and uh, again, I actually put him in. Put him in touch with us too. Again, as he told us, like he's from Chicago, no name, big name, you got a tourist there. And ain't nobody talking to you like that. So we're not gonna pay all that kind of money, right? So it's just been one of those. But again, he's from the old school. Like, his his whole goal with hip hop was to be something. And he's got his thing going. So for him, it's like, all right, fam, I catch you when I catch you. Right. Like, I've been going to do shows back down south, but I just don't know any context, honestly. Right. And that, that's kind of been the thing with me. It's like, I know people in Huntsville, I know people in Jackson. Yeah, same here. Right. right. But at the same time, it's like, in order for me to come out of here, it's going to cost. Yeah. It is. It's, it's, it's going to cost you this. So we can't make something different. Like that. You know how expensive it is to fly to Jackson? I had no idea. Like, I'm going to Jackson for, for Christmas to visit my family. And I'm like, oh, shit. Yeah, I'm going to And I don't think it's going to be that much. It's like fucking $500. Out of fucking Jackson. Because it's in the middle of nowhere. Right, because yeah. nobody wants to go there. Like I'm like, I'm, I'm like, let me check New York. New York, two eighty eight. I'm like, oh, I can't be more in New York. The easiest, yeah. wow. the easiest way to get to Jackson is to take the train, but the train takes a damn half. Exactly. So I don't have it. I have a fly. Where's the nearest airport? To and they have it. They got it. And they just don't. And you know, outside of Jackson, right. the closest one is Meridian, which Meridian is really an hour and a half south of Jackson. Right. Because my family is actually between those two. Yep. For me, my family is from Stella, like Philadelphia, Mississippi. Okay. So for me, right. Meridian would actually be the closest, but Jackson is the more local. Because in order for me to go to Meridian, I'd actually have to fly. Into or you could do this if you got the time, and I thought about this too. But you could catch a fucking mega bus to Memphis, yeah. which would take 18 hours, but it's only like $40, and then fly to Memphis for $100. Yeah. But if you got the time, you can do it. That's the time, but that's a that's long ride. Like, that's if a couple days. If I'm going to Memphis, a lot of fucking travel. If I'm going to Memphis, some relative is driving me. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Memphis going like an hour and a half from Jack. Right. Like, so, <laughs> so, yeah. But yeah, man, I'm actually trying to get back down there. I don't think I'm going to make it by Christmas, but hopefully sometime next year, man, I'm going to get back down there. I haven't been back Luckily, down there. Luckily, my sister my paid for my ticket, so. Because when I told her, I was like, I ain't gonna make it. She was like, I, I'll pay you for your ticket. Yeah. Like, I gotta do the same thing for uh, Thanksgiving, man, coming to uh, Flint. Yeah, which, I don't trip on the train. It's actually like, it's like, it's like, it's like, it's like 70 bucks for the holiday. Right. To fly, it's like a 45 minute flight. But I'm not gonna try to get something. I'd rather spend the $6 and save money. Come on, son. Yeah, I need to do the same. Try to get these new colors. <laughs> Can I talk about my man Samson right there, y'all? We just had just playing with him or what? Yes. Hold on, y'all just out of here. Y'all might not have said nothing, but the looks on y'all. I know y'all were trying, but I could see he wasn't responding. We were like pulling fucking I know, like, read it, I get it, but like at the same time, it's like I responded because y'all responded. I was laughing. So I can't relate, but I was like, oh, so you finna think Daddy Kane is. Right, alright. You finna be tough. You didn't know where Daddy Kane was. That was the last He was just like, but hey, even the first single gangster song, I'm like, I heard you was like thanks to everything. Hey, look, I got up. I got up after he left. I'm like, yo, so what's that? Oh, no, he just came for the interview. Like, oh, he got it. I knew it. I said, this dude was perfect. Hey, you had dreads. Cause, I want to talk to Sam. So he wanted us to introduce him, and I was like, "Where is he in the bathroom?" And you started laughing. I'm like, "Seriously, where is this? I think he's supposed to be the best shit." Take the tape off the. Yo, that was hilarious. To me, that that was yeah, but, but we said it was Urban Grind. Urban Grind, they just fuck with turned up people. So oh, I was just well, like, yeah, dude, we were like, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, like, oh, yeah, 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 oh, ye
No. Okay. I'm sorry. Every time I go to Detroit, no, nobody in Detroit knows that. They don't know who Post that. 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 Post shooting in the camera. <laughs> that shit is whack. Them niggas be killing me. I'm sorry. And the thing is, the kids be on the top of that earphone, and they just like, I'm a war vet. I'm South Carolina. I ain't never done this. Who the fuck? My pops was a shoot up kid. Like, we tell stories about like. Yo, we used to run in niggas' houses. It's like, like lay niggas down. Like, 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 oh, it's cool. And you're pointing that shit. But you you're not waving it. You know what I'm saying? Like, 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 You gotta be writing somebody's beat. Right. Hey, you can bring the posters over here, Steph, for the show. Anybody's welcome to a poster if they want it. I always be like, if, if you're asking me, I'm like, telling them they're welcome to a poster of the show. Then I'll go to my favorite. That shit tastes good. We got a little wine left if somebody wants some red wine. I want to talk to you with like, people I just don't even bring the music in my ear, so I'll be like, yo, you was asking. I always be like, I want to talk to you. I always be like, 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 I always be like,
native son from the UK by way of East Africa. You know, like, I, you know, because them people that do, I see them on stage. I'm like, yeah. like, I got my shit. 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 I got my Charlie downstairs waiting on us, Eric. Now they step in my door. I just need help with a bag. I'm in a bag. All right. See ya. Yeah. Yeah. That mic goes in the bag. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Steph. Yes, always. Yeah, the mic goes in the bag. I got the turntable. This turntable right here. What you got? Turntable. Your phone is over here. I know. I'm gonna get that. Hold on. Leave it there. Everybody got that Ken Star CD. Yeah. Samsung. <laughs> Ken Star wasn't that bad. Like Ken Star. Everybody got their Samsung CD. There's quarters on the table. Where is it? Oh, the he has one little out. Not your existence. <laughs> well, man, I saw you on Halston with some prostitutes. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 you didn't. Yeah, like, yeah. That wasn't me. Yeah. Don't speak that yeah. evil on me, Ricky Bobby. That was me. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't pay though. <laughs> I didn't pay though. I told him, I'm Joe Blow. I'm Joe Blow, the left hand. You should be for that. That might be how you knew it was me. Like, <laughs> the older mic. She said she was. Alright, so here you go. Hey, the late, uh, the dog. 
Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. These are lighter bags because I got that. I got one more yeah. bag. Yeah. 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 Ray, you got a free yeah. hand? Oh, yeah. Good luck. Good luck. It's just the army bag. It's not as heavy as it looks, but it's got two straps. I gotta make. Oh man, they just left when that's like clean up. You know what? That was that was partly me. Peanut shell. I eat the shell. Yeah, but it's a near archive. It's in the system. We gotta get a hard drive to get a copy. But the YouTube is on. The link is on. That's what I'm saying. Oh yes, yeah. Oh shit! This bag heavy. What's yeah. that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I got it, but that, that I don't know. You want to switch and grab this little bag? Yeah, yeah. Oh, he just played it. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> this motherfucker 100 pounds heavier than I am. I said, text that to me so I can text it out to everybody. Um. Oh, shoot. Hey, more. I'm going to this couch. I just got to throw this couch over there. I got a knock on the door. They said they don't want to leave. They don't want to leave the um. So right before your album release. Oh, word. So just checking the calendar when we get to the boxes at home. At some point this week, man, we're going to contact you. We'll bring a clean version of that. We would appreciate that. That's the idea. That's the idea. We're going to play the album. We're going to do it. You got an hour. That's the thing. We're going to do a whole hour, man. So play your music. Over there, you know, so. Uh, like I said, that was cool. I was thinking, I was thinking about it. That was, that was my first show. The show you came. Yeah. That's cute. For everything, yeah, right? Show, Stuff waffle, game. waffle game. That was my first time coming up here was for a waffle game first, show. Me and too. then I find out they were doing a radio show. Like I said, I've, of course, me and Vax have been rocking for 15 years mm -hmm. together. And, and, and Steph as well. As a matter of fact, Steph, Steph was right next to us when we were doing stuff. So, you know, we thought she used to be in our group. We mm -hmm. had her on stage with us so much. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, I just jumped this in on the radio show. Steph is a fucking singer. I think I seen her at a show in Dark Room with the cast from, yes, uh, you, from yeah, Kansas. Right? That was her favorite. So I mean, not yeah. from Kansas, but from, uh, from, from Kansas City. She, she got her own solo thing, and then she got a group called Speed. That's what I seen her. It was Speed. a group. It was a group. Yeah, that's her. It was a group. Other. Then she worked with like I think three different cover bands too. Yeah. So it's definitely good. No. My my cousin. I, that's where I seen you at. You 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 were the like Speak. you sing right? Yeah, I'm singing. I'm yeah. um, I'm mostly singing though. Right. But we seen you at um a show with with some cats from Kansas City. I think my my homie drunk in the dark room. That's dark room. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Drunk is a is definitely a co collaborator. Yeah 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 yeah. He's, he's that's family. like that's like he's, he knows my cousins and shit. So you like, from yeah. what Bishop? Yeah, that that's our hood. We live yeah. in Inglewood, yeah. so yes. Yeah. I know we know your people. Yeah, he does. Mm-hmm. We have to get to the right now. Too much good. Happy father. They say they're here in Inglewood. They probably stay here probably all night. Maybe fifty thousand dollars every time. Ten thousand. Fifty thousand. We gonna have to work cut. Yeah, it's yeah well, that's up to us too, though. We gotta be. But we was, we was. Sure. Whoever we book on, we gonna say. Y'all did great though yeah, with the music. How y'all? I saw how y'all was like. Shh. Yeah. <laughs> that was great, great. Because <laughs> you gotta curve it. It's very important for profanity. I'm going to just say I cuss and they ain't gonna like that, man. On any station. Program get smoked. Yeah, Program get body. You get it. They got a dump for it too. They got a dump for it too. We got a dump for it. I don't know how it worked on that. We didn't have an option. On that. You know, you gotta be keen to know what somebody wants. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, you gotta be on it. You gotta. You, gotta, you want me to run the show with the camera? That's why I said you was doing a lot. And you want me to watch their customers, and I don't know. But they not. gotta know that that's etiquette. Yeah. Yeah. They're going to potty mouth right yeah. here tell him. <laughs> you know, I got nasty no, mouth. You know, I love to say cuss words. You know, I like your grandma. No, you, just, you know what, just, in, just for the future, yeah, we just got to make sure that's <laughs> and over the staff. <laughs> oh, more. Okay, yeah. No. yeah more. I asked you to help me with that. Oh, of course. They're going to. My sure, girl, I'll be trying to get all my friends. We, we, we find it on a week oh, mode. Wait, we got to remember. I'm going to go first. We just put it in the middle. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, no. And it's, it's, it's real, real easy because, like, we, like, most of the time, like, when we do a show, it's like we just get the crib and have a conference. So it's like, oh, who did that? 
What's funny? We talk about crime, but that's the problem, girl. So then he's the man. We'd be like, so damn. So we got our AI, and that's why they got to watch the swearing, right? No, FM would have been worse. Right? But that's what I mean, that they're on, just in general, on public radio. Yeah. Like internet, it doesn't matter. I, don't, I guess so. I learned shit. Internet, you know what? They don't know how to ask. Okay. All right. Someone All right. was telling me in Florida, they were in Florida and they don't censor the radio out there. Yeah, they don't. They don't censor racism. <laughs> 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 And he tells us all.
questo. I'm not even so sure who is going to be born. I would be surprised to hear.
is. grab one. Yeah. 
Pick it up right now. I first saw that, I'm like, wow, did they make that?
It's going to be harder to think Thank you. 
Some dumb bodies were like encountered. Right? If some dumb bodies were to push it and then it might have been. Some dumb bodies have now. You push it and it's dead air. It was just now coming in all that stream. Yes. <laughs> 
So, uh, <laughs> I, don't, I don't think for reasons that I guess if all girls can get our hands on the air, it's perfect and sufficient for the society. And this summer girl. Yeah, I think it's a good effort, but 
This one is from out of the
this can be Thank you. 